So, guys, what do you want to do tonight? Well, me and Cody are going to go see a movie. Oh, dude, I didn't know they made a sequel to Brokeback Mountain. No, I wish. So what movie are you going to go see? Madam Web. Oh, I thought that movie sucks. It does. The only reason we're going is because the theater is going to be empty. And we're going to sit on the top row with a blanket. Yeah, so I'll let you know if it sucks and if the movie's bad. <laughs> Dude, when are we gonna kick Cody out of the group? I don't know. Whatever happened to that hairy guy? You'll never know. I'm starting to think Pablo got rid of the hairy puppet. Yeah, we gotta keep our eyes on him. So, Joseph, what do you wanna do tonight? Oh, dude, I always wanted to eat fried ice cream, but I don't know how they make it. It's impossible. Wait, what's fried ice cream? Dude, it's ice cream that's fried. Wait, wouldn't it melt if they tried frying it? Bro, you gotta eat it fast. It's crazy. Let's ask Chef Pee can fry ice cream. Oh, he better know how to make it. Mm -mm -mm. My pig in the blanket is almost done. Chef Pee Chef Pee oh, What do you want, Junior? I'm busy making pig in the blanket. I thought it was pigs in the blanket. We only had one hot dog, so it's one big ass pig in the blanket. Well, can you make us fried ice cream? Hell no, I'm not making fried ice cream. I'm busy. Well, do you even know how to make fried ice cream? Of course I know how to make fried ice cream. I'm a certified chef. How dare you even judge me? Well, why don't you just make us fried ice cream then? Because I'm busy with my piggy, duh. I don't think you know how to make fried ice cream. I don't think he knows how to make it. Yeah, he doesn't know how to make it, dude. <laughs> you don't know how to make it. I know how to make a damn fried ice cream. Then make it. God damn it, I'll make it. Shit. All right, Junior, I got a scoop of cookies and cream ice cream. Now watch it fry. All right, eat it, eat it, nigga, eat it. Wait, wait, it's melting, Chef Pee Pee. No, eat it, eat it, eat it. It's supposed to melt. This is fried ice cream. That's how you fry it. Okay, how am I supposed to eat it, Chef Pee Pee? Oh, uh, here, here, here you go. It's a spoon. Eat it. But it's melting. I know it's going to be a little hot, but, you know, it's frying. It's fried ice cream. I don't think you know how to make it, Chef Pee Pee. I know how to make damn fried ice cream. I'm a certified chef. And then you eat it. Come it's on. It's so disrespectful, Junior. Let's take his pig in the blanket. I Shut up, Chef Pee Pee. You suck at being a chef. Yeah, do a better job. Ah, oh, I hate Junior. He always does this to me. I need a vacation. Oh, Braxton! <laughs> I'm so lonely. I haven't been with a woman in years. Oh, I guess I need to go to my favorite dirty website. Mm. Ooh, my favorite video. Hey, big boy. Hey. Do you have your lotion ready? Uh, I got hand soap. Uh, that's gonna have to do for today. Do you think I'm hot? Yes. Do you want me to take my clothes off? Yes. How about this? Oh, <laughs> yes. Braxton! I hate Junior. I hate working here. I deserve a vacation. Can I go? Yes. Really? I, I thought I had to argue with you a little longer, you know? Uh, can I go anywhere I want? Yes! Damn, that was quick. <laughs> can I use your credit card? Oh, yes! Damn! You're generous today. Being generous. So, uh, I'm thinking about going to the Bahamas. Is that cool? I'm coming! Oh, uh, I, I didn't think about you going with me. <laughs> I just plan on it being a solo trip, but you know, uh, that, that's cool with you, right? You can have anything you want. You deserve the world. You're perfect, baby. Aw, oh, thanks, Braxton. <laughs> I'll see you in a week, man. Oh, it gets better every single time. Done already? Oh, shut up, you stupid slut. Oh, it's just a video. It's not like we're dating or anything. Man, I deserve something to eat. Oh, Chef Pee Pee made me something to eat. Chef Pee Pee, I worked up a sweat. I watched that video again and now I'm hungry. Wait, what's this? Thank you, Braxton, for letting me go on vacation with your credit card. You're the best boss ever. Love Chef Pee Pee. Is he on drugs or something? I would never let him go on vacation, especially with my credit card. What the hell is wrong with him? And did he shit in that pan? That's disgusting. Oh. Where's my phone? I need to call him and go off on him! Oh, Chef Pee Pee better answer the damn phone so I can cuss him out! Yo, what's good, Braxton? My favorite person in the world, man! Oh, I'm chilling in the Bahamas with all these fine ass mamas, man. Titties are everywhere, all in my face, it's crazy! Oh, all thanks to you, my nigga, what's good? Who said you could go to the Bahamas with my credit card? You did! Wait, I did? Yes, you did. You said you were coming and then you changed your mind at the last minute. You said I deserve the world or some bullshit like that. Oh, I don't remember that. Damn my old age! Oh, well, I guess have fun or some, something like that. Oh, I'm so hungry. Who's gonna cook for me now? Junior! Oh man, Joseph, this wiener in the blanket was so good. I can't believe you didn't want any. Nah, dude, I don't want to end up like Cody. All it takes is one wiener. Junior! What's going on, Dad? Chef Pee Pee's on vacation and I need you to cook for me. Chef Pee Pee's not on vacation, he's downstairs in the kitchen. No, the hell he's not. He's in the Bahamas. Oh, look, I need you to cook for me right now. I don't know how to cook. Well, you're gonna learn today, goddammit. Cook for me, become a man. Why don't you become a man and cook for me? Oh, you gonna challenge me right now? I'll beat your ass in front of your friend. Look, cook for me or you're grounded.
Oh, my dad's such a dick. Yeah, dude, your dad's a dick. Super dick. Wait, hey, don't call my dad a dick. At least my dad's alive. Your dad's dead. Let's go cook for my dad. I'm gonna disrespect my dad like that. How about I kill your dad to see if you like it? <laughs> All right, Joseph, the only thing I found in the freezer to cook my dad was this P.F. Chang's chicken dumplings thing. Okay, let's cook it. I think you'll like it, dude. All right, pour them in the thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wait, those look a little dry. I'm gonna go get some sauce to put on them. All right, I'll watch the food. Make sure nothing happens to it. <laughs> nothing bad. <laughs> I need to find some poison so I can kill his dad. Make sure he feels it. <gasps> All I could find was Miralax. Maybe I could put so much on it that he shits so much he dies. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gonna be a lot. He's gonna shit his brains out. <laughs> All right, Joseph, I thought maybe we could pour some Dr. Pepper and hot sauce on it for flavor. Oh, yeah, he'll definitely like that. Wait, what's, what's with all this white powder on it? Oh, it's nothing but some fun dip, so he can have a fun time. <laughs> oh, yeah, fun dip. All right, let me put the Dr. Pepper on it. <laughs> oh, that made it look yummy. Oh, yeah, super yummy. Yeah. Well, Timmy, I think the theater's empty, so we don't really have to do the hole at the bottom of the popcorn bucket trick. No, I want to eat through all the popcorn to get to the surprise at the bottom. Okay, but I don't know why we got an extra large. You're going to have to eat a lot of popcorn. You're going to get full. <laughs> oh, man, Joseph, it turned out great. It looks so delicious. Yeah, exquisite. He's definitely going to love this. We should take it to him so he can eat it. Yeah, he's going to think I'm a young Gordon Ramsay how good this turned out. <laughs> Whatever. I think I should take a bite to make sure it tastes good. No, dude, don't eat that. Uh, uh, we should take it to your dad. His taste buds is the only one that should enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to take one little bite. No, dude! Oh, man, it's a little spicy. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh, oh no, my stomach's killing me. I, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, God. Oh, man, my stomach hurts so bad. <sighs> oh, my God. <sighs> it hurts so bad. <sighs> I gotta call a doctor. <sighs> Hey, somebody call a doctor? Oh uh, yeah, doctor, my stomach hurts so bad I can't stop pooping. Oh, what'd you eat? I ate some frozen dinner P.F. Chang chicken dumpling thing. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I had some Chipotle earlier, quesadilla covered in queso. Yeah, my toilet's not gonna be happy later. God, could you imagine being a toilet, just having people shit in your face all day? Hey, they should make that into a Pixar movie, you know? About a sad little truck stop toilet where all this big truck driver ass just comes and shits on him all day and it pisses all over his toilet seat and nobody ever flushes until one day this nice old man comes and says, I want to save you from this life. And he undrills him and takes the toilet back to his house where he shits in him, but he flushes every time. Maybe that would be like a short in front of a Pixar movie. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna poop my pants. Oh, I pooped my pants one time. Actually, I pooped it lots of times, but oh, the worst one? Oh, let me tell you about it. So I was a sophomore in high school and the homecoming dance was coming up and I wanted to go with Samantha Knob Gobbler because word around the school was if you went on a date with her, she'd gobble your knob like corn on the cob. So I asked her out before anyone else and she said yes. I was so excited. I was about to get my knob gobbled at homecoming. So I got myself a tuxedo and I looked damn good. I looked like a young James Bond. I was ready. The only weird thing was my mom drove us to the dance and she smokes with the windows rolled up, but I didn't care. I only had one thing on my mind, getting my knob gobbled. So she dropped us off at the dance and I started boogie woogieing. And there was a snack bar and the local gas station was catering sushi. My school didn't have a big budget. So I ate a few pieces of the sushi and I went back out on the dance floor to break it down. Then the song Witch Doctor came on, you know, the song that goes ooh-ee, you know, ooh-ah-ah, don't forget the ting-tang, walla walla, end it with a bing-bang, you know that song? And that song was my shit. So when I went to twerk, I did shit. My pants. It came out of nowhere. And then right then, Samantha Knobgobbler grabs me by my hand and says, Hey, you want to ditch this dance and go get your knob gobbled? So I said, No, I'm actually gay. Sorry. Because I didn't want her to know I had a massive shit in my pants. She was so offended because nobody has ever turned down getting their knob gobbled by Samantha Knobgobbler. So she ran away and drove off with Billy Bowling Hands. This was before he drowned. I'm sure his balls were like bowling balls. So yeah, if there's any lesson to be learned from that story, it's don't eat gas station sushi if you think you're gonna get your knob gobbled. Why'd you tell her you were gay? Why didn't you just tell her you had to use the bathroom and you go in the bathroom and clean yourself up and throw your underwear away? Oh no, it was all outside of the underwear. It was just a big old mess down there. And that wasn't the end of it either. No, it was an all night ordeal. I was on the toilet for like eight hours. I think I did the right thing. Although if I could do anything differently other than not eat the gas station sushi, it would be not telling her I was gay because then I had to go around the school and clear up all the rumors about me being gay. But hey, at least nobody knows I shat my pants. Oh, my stomach hurts. Can you please stop it? Why do you have to feel better so bad? You're getting your knob gobbled? No, I just can't stop pooping. Actually, now that I think about it, you're dating my daughter, so I hope you never stop pooping. Ah, help! 
Where's my damn food? I'm so hungry. You know what? I'm gonna watch that video again. Here you go, Junior's dad. Your food is ready. Uh, that looks like a piece of shit, kid. I'm not eating that. I'm probably gonna order Uber Eats. No, you gotta eat it, please. Uh, look, we slaved in the kitchen for you, so you have to eat it right now, please. Uh, look, I don't like how you refer to yourself as a slave. It made me uncomfortable, you being black and all. So, um, I'm probably gonna order Uber Eats. No, you have to eat it right now. So eat it, please. What? Look, I don't like how you raised your voice at me, kid. Get out of my house right now. Screw you, dude. Look, all I want you to do is fucking eat the food so you can die. Kids these days with that stupid ass attitude. God, where's my laptop? Hey, dude, how you feeling? My stomach's still cramping. I can't stop pooping. Oh, man, that sucks. But look, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's my bad. Yeah, I just really wanted to kill your dad. What? Yeah, bro, you were making fun of my dead dad, so I thought I would get even and put Miralax in his food and he would die or, you know, shit his brains out, but I guess not. Well, oh, wow, Joseph. Yeah, you ate the food. It was just a bad set of circumstances. You're such a true friend. Only a true friend would admit that to me. Yeah, man, I try. I try to do better. Hey, guys, Cody's mad at me. Why? Because by the time I got to the bottom of the bucket, I was so full that I wasn't in the mood because I ate too much popcorn. You know the feeling when you eat too much popcorn and your stomach cramps up? Don't talk to me about stomach cramps. <laughs> I finally get a day to just sit back, relax, and not go anywhere. Come on, Marvin. We're all going to the beach. What? The beach? Yes, the beach. It'll be fun. Yeah, Daddy. I'm a swimming well poop. I don't want to go to the beach. It's hot and sandy. I don't like it. But, Marvin, it's a beautiful day out. We need to be outside. No, I don't want to go. And, Daddy, I'm also going to tan my beach balls. Well, I'm not going. You guys go. I'm going to stay here. No, we're all going, Marvin. You're being a stupid beach. Very mature. Come on. <sighs> Marvin, isn't the beach so nice? No, I hate it. It's hot. I want to go home. Marvin, stop whining. Just try to relax. Hey, Dan, can you help me build a sandcastle? No, I don't want to play in the sand. I don't want to get all sandy. Marvin, go build a sandcastle with Jeffy. I don't want to. Well, can I go play in your water? No, Jeffy, you might drown. Marvin, let him have some fun. Yes, Jeffy, you can go swimming. Just don't go out too far. Yay! Can we go home yet? No, Marvin, we just got here. <sighs> I just lay on the towel. Water? Ah! Scary water? Ah! 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 Stay help! Ah! Ah! See, Marvin, isn't this relaxing? Yeah, I guess it is. Ah! Ah! Jimmy? Ah! Ah! Marvin, Jimmy's drowning! Oh, I don't know what to do! Marvin, go save him! Oh, I don't know what to do! Go I help! Huh? Someone needs help? <laughs> I got you, bro. Ugh, don't worry, I got you. I'm not gonna let you drown. Oh my god! Thank you for saving him! We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, damn it, breathe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saved my life, mister! Oh, thank you for saving our son. Yeah, it's what I do. Wait. Brad? What, Rose? I haven't seen you in forever. What, you know each other? Yeah, he's one of my exes, Marvin. You didn't tell me about Brad. Yeah, he was not important enough to come up. Hey, what's up, man? My name's Brad, with a big D at the end. Because when a girl goes on a date with me, that's what she gets at the end. A big D. Well, it was nice meeting you, Brad. Thanks for saving our son. Let's go. No, Marvin, wait. We should do something nice. We should invite him to dinner. We don't have to do anything nice for him. He's a lifeguard. He's supposed to save people. Well, I'm actually not a lifeguard. I was just laying on the beach, working on my perfect tan, and I saw that kid needed help, so I just did what any good person would do. Well, that's nice. That's really nice, Brad. So we're going to leave now. No, Marvin, we have to thank him. We don't have to thank him. Brad, come to dinner tonight. Okay, but I'm pescatarian, so I only eat fish. But you'd know that, wouldn't you, Rose? He likes salmon. Oh, okay, well, that's real nice. All right, well, we're going to leave. Right, come on, Jeffy. Jeffy, I'm so glad you're okay. I can't believe you invited your ex to dinner. Wow, thanks for caring, Daddy. Marvin, he saved Jeffy's life. Who cares? Again, thanks for caring, Daddy. Well, you didn't save him, Marvin. I would have if I would have had a swimming suit on. I had this outfit on. Your only outfit? Yeah, and to be fair, Daddy, you did wear a tie to the beach. I didn't want to go to the beach. You literally dragged me there. Marvin, we're going to thank him and cook him a nice dinner. I'm not cooking him dinner. I'm not doing anything for that weirdo. Well, fine. Chef Pee-Pee will do it then. Chef Pee-Pee? Yes, Chef Pee-Pee. 
I already paid him. You paid Chef Pee Pee to cook dinner for him? Yes, Marvin. We don't have much, but we can thank him over a nice dinner. Why do we have to thank him? I'm sure you thanked him enough when y'all dated. How'd you even meet the guy anyway? I was in California at the Santa Monica Pier, and we hooked up a couple of times. Jeez. A couple times? I was young, Marvin. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> if it didn't mean anything, then why did why is saving Jeffy meaning something to you? Like, don't talk to the guy. Like, I don't like him. Uh, you don't have to like him, Marvin, but we do have to thank him over a nice dinner. Why does it have to be a dinner? Why can't we write him a letter? You want to write him a letter. Yeah, I'll write him two letters. F you. Marvin! Oh, that's a good one, Daddy. Give me four fingers. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. that was smooth. Go downstairs and help Chef Pee Pee cook the dinner. Oh, I'll help, all right. Oh, I'll, I'll do stuff to the food. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm, this looks delicious! Hey, Chef Pee Pee, my wife said you're cooking dinner. Oh, yeah, I just got done. Wait, this looks amazing! I know, thank you. What are you doing? What, is it not supposed to look good? No, my wife's inviting her ex-boyfriend over for dinner. Oh, with her ex? Oh, why don't you just break up with her? Well, her ex kind of saved Jeffy's life. He was drowning, and she wants to make it up to him by bringing him over for dinner. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, I thought you sucked at cooking. I thought you made disgusting food. Well, not when I'm getting paid, and your wife paid me $20, so I went all out. Well... <laughs> I'll pay you 20 extra more dollars to spit in the food. Like, I want you to do gross things to it. Like, when, when he eats his food, I want him to throw up. Like, when he sees his food, I want him to never want to come back ever again. That's how gross I want to be. Oh, you want me to go all out? Yeah, I want you to ruin this food. Okay, let's start with this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, ooh, let's rub it all over the toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab the salmon, grab oh, the yeah. salmon. All right, Marvin, I'm going to clean the toilet with the salmon. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. I know, I know. Oh, that's disgusting. Ooh, ooh, watch this. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, that's so hilarious. Oh, this is gross. Oh, ooh, step outside. So use the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> hey, Marvin, let's put the shrimp in this litter box. Oh, that's disgusting. Let's do it. <laughs> Isn't this the most diabolical, disgusting, horrible meal you've ever seen? Yeah. Oh, it makes me want to throw up. Oh, yeah. That guy's definitely not going to want your wife after he eats this. Oh, yeah, definitely not. He's going to take one bite. He's going to run away and never talk to her again. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm going to go tell my wife that dinner's ready. So uh, just make something normal for me and my wife, okay? Okay. Are you going to pay me for that, too? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, baby. Dinner is ready. Wow, Marvin, you seem to be in a good mood. Yeah, I realized I was being stupid, getting mad that your ex-boyfriend's coming over for dinner. Well, I'm glad you've matured, Marvin. Yeah. Who's that? That's probably Brad. Ugh, let's answer the door. Okay. Hello? Hi, Brad. What's up? Thank you so much for coming to dinner. Thanks for not wearing a shirt. Oh, I don't believe in shirts. I just feel like they constrict me, and I gotta be free, you know? He's a free spirit. You know? Did you have to bring a surfboard to dinner? Oh, yeah. You never know when a gnarly wave's gonna rip by. And also, it's basically a part of my body. Like, literally, help. It's fused with my hand. Help. Well... Come inside. That's what she said to me. Just shut up and come inside. So, like I mentioned at the front door, this surfboard is stuck to my hand, so please help me. Mm-mm, mm Doesn't this food look good, Bradley? Uh, my name's actually Brad, with a big D at the end, because when I take girls on dates... I know, you already explained it. Just look at the food. Aw, Chef Pee Pee made me a salad. So, Brad, what do you do for a living? Bro, I live for a living. You don't have a job? <laughs> no. Wow, baby, it sounds like you dated a total bum. Well, actually, Marvin, Brad's family is very wealthy. Yeah, have you heard of the Shell Gap? stations? Yeah. Yeah, well, my family invented those. Check the necklace. Your family invented the Shell gas station? Yeah, so I'm loaded like a big potato. <laughs> so all I do all day is just surf, look at beautiful chicks, and beg people to help me with this surfboard that's stuck to my hand. Please help me, someone. Well, I think it's time for us to eat because I'm as hungry as a shark. You know, I got bit by a shark one time. Really? Yeah, at the aquarium petting zoo. I punched him right in the nose, because that's how you deal with sharks, in case you didn't know. You're so brave! <laughs> yeah, I kept all its teeth on a necklace back home. I got it at the gift shop. I can give you one if you want, but I only give it to people I really care about. Well, I think we should focus on eating. Let's dig in. Yeah, unfortunately, I am left-handed. And like I said, I have this surfboard stuck to my hand, so please, dear God, someone help me. Well, you could just, like, you know, eat with your face like a little piggy, like a little dirty pig boy. Like a little, like a little stinky pig boy. Yeah, I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do that. How, how is it, Brad? Bradley? Br 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 Brad! 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 Marvin is drunken. How does it taste, Brad? Marvin's sacred. Is it gross? I'm gonna give him mouth to mouth. No, no, no! You did that enough when y'all date. He, it's okay. He just, he just had a mouthful. Marvin, call the doctor. He's fine. Marvin. What, Brad? Bradley? Marvin, do something! Bradifer? Oh no, baby, I think he's dead. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 calm down. Just, just hold on. Like, hold on. 
I'm gonna call a doctor and let me, let me talk to Chef Bibi. Uh, Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi. Hold on, hold on. Let me guess, Marvin. <laughs> he hated it. No, 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 no. He had a stomach ache and pooped everywhere. No, he threw up and pooped. No, no, no. He ran out of the house crying like a little baby. <laughs> no, he's dead. What? He's dead? No, he can't be. Not from the food. No, no, no. He died from eating the food. We killed him. No, we didn't kill him. No, we just made the food dirty. No, no, no. Whatever we did poisoned him, and now he's dead, and we're gonna go to jail. No, we're not going to jail. I'm not going to jail for your relationship issues. My booty's too tight for that. Oh, oh, oh my, my, my wife wants me to call a doctor. What do we do? Look, look, look. I'm gonna dress up like a doctor, and I'm gonna just tell her that everything's fine. He's just sleeping or something like that, and then we're gonna bury the body. Oh, I like that idea. That's a really smart idea. I love okay. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm very smart. I know oh, what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Get a doctor outfit. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he should be here any moment. Hey, 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 uh, did somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, he choked and I think he's dead. Oh, no, he can't be dead. No, 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 not from eating all this good food. He's probably just sleeping with his eyes open. Yeah, crazy kid. Let me check his pulse. Oh, no, <gasps> Marvin, he's dead. He doesn't have a pulse. I know that, just lie to her. <gasps> Is he dead? Oh no, he's not dead. He's just sleeping with his eyes open. Yeah, some people fall asleep after eating good food. He's just in a, a food coma. That's what they call it. Oh, I think I've heard of those before. <laughs> yeah, 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 food coma. Yeah, yeah, so doctor, what would you suggest we do with the sleeping body? Uh, oh, uh, we should drag the sleeping body to bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so we're gonna take the body and put it in bed. You just finish your salad, baby. Okay. Oh, come on, doctor, <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. <gasps> All right, Muffin, let's get rid of this body. Muffin? Oh yeah, you know I love that mustache, baby. No, 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 I gotta fight these urges. We gotta focus on the body. Yeah, the body first. So how we get rid of the body? You said we were gonna bury it. No, we can't bury it. The police dog can sniff out the body and, and, and dig up the body and we'll get caught. Oh, okay, we, we gotta think of another way to get rid of the body. Uh, uh, have you seen Breaking Bad? Yeah, I've seen Breaking Bad. Yeah, they put the body in the bathtub and then they pour the acid over it so it eats up the body. Oh, that's genius. Yeah, there, there'll be no proof and there'll be no evidence and then the cops can't find them. Oh yeah, well, let's do that, let's do that. Get the acid. Okay, I'll get the acid. You take the body to the bathtub. Okay. All right, I got the acid. Body the Decomposing acid? Where did you even buy this? They sell it at Home Depot in the I don't want to get caught section. And you actually bought it? Well, I use cash. There's no trace. Okay, good, good. No trace. I like that. All right, so I'm going to put the body in the bathtub and you're going to pour the acid on it, all right? Okay. All right, let's do that. Ooh, who's that? I don't know. Let's answer it. Okay. Hello? Hey. Oh, no. The cops. They must have found out about Brad's body. Ah! Hey. What was that? What was what? That that thing you just did. Uh, oh, that was our secret handshake. Yeah, handshake. You guys didn't touch hands. Usually handshakes have hand touching at least. Oh, oh no, no, we don't do that. That's it's that, germs. It's germs. That, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, you know, the pandemic's going on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for a guy named Brad. I don't know a guy named Brad. No, I don't know Brad. Do you know Brad? No, I don't know a Brad. No, I don't know a Brad either. I, I, I know it's just a chef. I know a Chad, I think. Mm-hmm, Chad. You know, you two are the definition of suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> don't get to fight these urges. What, what was that? No. Uh, no, no, nothing, nothing. No, we don't know a Brad. You nope, should, uh, you should, yeah, you should ask the neighbors if they've seen Brad. Mm -hmm. Well, I did, and they said they saw Brad come here earlier today. They, they did. did. Okay, stop, stop doing that. I don't like that. Well, look, we have not seen Brad, and and it's like, it's like it hasn't been seventy two hours, has it? So he can't, he can't have a missing person report. Yeah. Yeah, but his family's rich, and they put a tracker in his surfboard, and it says that he's in here. <sighs> Okay, fine. He's here. He's sleeping in the bathtub. What are you doing? Oh, look, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, he's in the bathtub. But why is he in your bathtub? He just wanted to take a nap, so he just wanted to chill. So, so just chill, homie. What? Uh, okay, I'm gonna search the house. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. So uh, when the cop comes in the house, hit him over the head with a rolling pin. All right, gotcha. Excuse me? Did you just fart? Wait, no, no. I heard what you just said. But what'd I say? You told him to hit me in the head with a rolling pin. No, I didn't. Oh, see, that's just a, a figure of speech. Yeah, 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 yeah. In my house, uh, to hit him in the head with a rolling pin means offer him a drink. Yeah, yeah. Are you thirsty? Yeah. What kind of uh, flavor rolling pin would you like? Uh, yeah, yeah. What rolling pin? Mm -hmm. I don't want a rolling pin. I don't want a tall glass of rolling pin. I just want to go find Brad. So you two are going to stay in front of me the whole time. What? Oh, he just wants to look at her booties. Oh, weirdo. Yeah, he's a little, butt, he's a little butt boy. N no, I'm not a butt boy. Look, look, shut up. I don't want to hear a word out of either of you. Show me Brad. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right, officer. Here's Brad. Huh. Body decomposing acid. 
What do you need that for? Uh, uh, well you see, uh, I was shaving in the bathtub and my hair got caught in the drain and the people at Home Depot said uh, to use body decomposing acid to get the hair out of the drain because it can decompose bodies and there's hair on bodies and the hair from my body is, is what clogged the drain. Yeah, yeah, that thick mustache hair. Yeah, 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 so that, that's what I was going to use that for. Really? Because there's a body right there next to the body decomposing acid. That's not a body, that's Brad. Yeah, that's just Brad. Yeah, yeah, he's sleeping. Yeah, doing Brad stuff. Yeah, he looks like he's sleeping with his eyes open and a shrimp in his mouth. What, you never been in a food coma, sir? Yeah, food, a food coma? Well, no, actually I haven't because my wife doesn't cook good enough for that to happen. Oh, uh, well, uh... He did it! No, he did it! No, no, he did it! No, no, he did it! Hey, 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 you both had something to do with this, so you're both going to jail. Oh, come on, I don't want to go to jail. I think I'm dirty in the head. So that's what happens. Hold on, he's not dead. Well, he's, not, he's not? No, he has a very light pulse. Well, well, you can still save him? Yeah, let me just uh, get my doctor outfit on, drag him upstairs, and do CPR. Well, no, do, do it right here. No, 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 it's got to be upstairs. No, 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 do it right here. Oh, bring him upstairs, bring him upstairs. All right. All right, Doc, we have him on the couch. All right, I got my outfit on. I'm ready to do some CPR. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ew, there's a shrimp in the way. I don't like shrimp. All right, let's get that out of there. <laughs> He's breathing. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, hey, uh, I have a really bad shellfish allergy. What, you have a shellfish allergy? I thought you were a pescatarian. Well, yeah, but not that pesky. What? Oh, wow, I guess you guys aren't going to jail after all. We're not oh, going to jail. I'm free. Hey Marvin, is Brad okay? Yeah, I'm okay, babe. He has a shellfish allergy. Well, wow. Hey, since there's a doctor here, hey doc, you think you could take this surfboard off my hand? It's like stuck there and it's ruining my life. Please, dear God, help me. All right, you folks have a nice night. You drive me up to KFC so I can get some chicken? No, your boy Dougie. I'm not gonna drive you to get some KFC. But I'm really, really so, so hungry good. I don't care how so hungry good you are. So good. Oh, li listen, look, you can drive yourself. But I ain't got some car. Are you gonna buy me a car? What? No, I'm not gonna buy you a car, Dougie. Are you gonna buy me that donk with the wagon? What? No donks, no wagons. If you want a car, you can get a job and save up your own money. But I can't get a job because I'm disabled. How are you disabled? I can't read because I'm a dinosaur. What? Oh, there's some jobs that don't involve reading, like you can go to McDonald's and make cheeseburgers. Well, how am I going to know where the cheese is if I can't read? You said you can't read. You can still see. You can see cheese. What about the pickle? There's someone at the door. Listen, if you want a job, go, go, go ask someone for a job, okay? Okay, but I don't know how to ask. Oh, go, go ask someone. Go. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman, what are you doing here? I just wanted to show you the most recent thing I bought. It's a money-counting robot. A money-counting robot? Yeah, because I have so much money that I'm afraid I might miscount. Because my fingers start hurting, my eyes start hurting. So I bought Buck Buddy here so he can count my money for me. I am Buck Buddy. I count money. Can I come inside and show you how he works? Well, actually, I'm really busy right now. Great! Come on! <laughs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants to show off his money counting robot. All right, Marvin, check it out. Here's a pile of $100,000. Watch him count it. Wait, you already know it's $100,000. He doesn't have to count it. Well, I just want to show off. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. So all he does is count your money? 50, yep, 000, look at him go. 60,000. That's a lot of money. 70, it sure is. 70,000. 80,000. I think you could count faster than this. Well, when you're a billionaire and you have billions of dollars, it gets tiring counting all that money. $100,000. Well, yay, you counted it. Now you can leave. Well, hold on. There's more money. Count it. Shit. Now I have to restart. Well, no, no. Count it somewhere else. We, we're busy. No, Marvin. I'm going to leave him here with you, okay? Well, why? Because I hate hearing his stupid voice. I'll be back later to pick him up. Well, no, don't go. 60,000. 70,000. 80,000. All right, baby, let's go downstairs 90, and eat something. 000, this is annoying. Okay. 100,000. 110,000. 120,000. What's that little robot do? Don't distract me. I'm counting money. But I got some questions to ask you. I said don't distract me. Wait. Shit. Now I have to start over. 10,000. Yo, man, I think you got a little wire loose in the bag. Let me look at it for you. Really? Yeah. Ow, Ooh. stop it. Ooh. Ow. All right, Marvin, I made chicken salad sandwiches. They look so good, baby. Marvin, you should really go upstairs and check on that robot. Make sure no one's messing with it, trying to steal the money. Good thinking, baby. I don't want to be responsible if money goes missing. 
Alright, now that I'm inside this money count robot, the guy's gonna keep giving me money to count, and I'm gonna keep taking it. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> hey, Buck Buddy, how's the counting the money going? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, bop, bop, two thirty. I'm booty, two thirty. How's the money counting going? Oh, I'm counting it. I mean, I'm, I, he'll go $10,000 right here. He'll go no, $200. he go $100. And then I think, I, actually, I think I'm done counting it. So I'm going to take this money back to the boss man. To Goodman? Yeah, the good man who gave me all this money. <laughs> yeah, so, so you know how to get back, right? Yeah, I know how to get to the car dealerships. And the, I know how to do what I'm doing. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Hold on. All right. Bye, Buck Buddy. Well, I'm glad he's gone. Marvin, is everything okay with the robot? Yeah, he just got done counting the money, so now he's walking back to Goodman right now. Thank God. I hate it when Goodman leaves his expensive things here. Yeah, and then we always lose it, and I'm responsible. Now I get to eat my sandwich. What was that? I is that a car revving? Who is that? What? Ducky! Your boy. Well, what is this? It's a hell cat. A kitty cat from hell. How did you get this? I box it. How'd you box it? With money. Where'd you get the money? I got me a job. Oh, you got a job? What kind of job did you get? I'm an accountant, because I account money. How'd you get an accountant job? You don't have a degree. Oh, I got plenty of degrees. It's currently 87 degrees outside. <laughs> Dougie, look, how did you get an accounting job? You, you can't read, so how can you count? Because I can count with numbers. <sighs> okay, well listen, as long as you got this car legally, that's all that matters. I got it legally, kinda. Kinda? Look, I don't wanna know the kinda. Look, just drive safe, and I'm proud of you for getting a job. All right, folks, I'm gonna run up to the KFC. You want to come? No, I don't wanna come. All right, what about the poop pies? Not the Popeyes. I love that chicken for a poo poo. Okay, look, you have fun driving. <laughs> Oh man, now I can finally eat my sandwich. Wait, wait, where's my sandwich? I'm so sorry, Marvin. I didn't think you were gonna eat it, so I gave it to Chiffy. Thanks, Daddy. It was delicious, but you can still have my pickle. Hi, I am. I think I just lost my appetite. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy ate my sandwich. Hey, Marvin, I'm here to pick up my robot. Oh, well, he just left with the money. He said he was bringing it to you. Excuse me? Yeah, he got done counting the money, and he picked it up and said, I'm taking this to Goodman. He can't do that. All he knows how to do is just count money. Well, well, no, but he said he was bringing it to Goodman. That's impossible, Marvin. He doesn't know names. All he knows how to do is count money. That's it. Well, he said he said Goodman, and, and, he, and he got done counting the money. He, he left. Marvin, did you take my money, and this is your stupid excuse on how to get away with it? No, I didn't take your money. Your dumb robot picked up the money and left. I left that money here with you, so you're responsible for it. If you don't give me my money back, I'm calling the police. But I didn't take your money. Your robot took it. Do you know anyone else who could have taken the money? No. I mean, no. who else would take the money? And the... Oh. Yeah, I... I know someone who could have taken it. I, I have to call someone. Hold on. All right, I'm calling my friend who, who may have taken the money. Yo, it's your boy, Dougie. Holla at your boy. Uh, hey, Dougie, it, it's Marvin. Yo, Marvin, you want me to pick you up some poo-poo chicken and some bisses? No, 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 no poo-poo chicken or bisses. Um, I'm calling because I realized that car you got was very expensive. Yeah, I bought it with money. Yeah, yeah, so the money. So there was a robot counting a bunch of money on the couch, and I was wondering if maybe you saw that robot with the money? Nah, man, I ain't seen no boobops with the money. Uh, okay, well, did you see him, like, outside? Because he was walking with the money. Did, did you did you possibly take the money? Oh, my man. No, I ain't take no money. But but what would happen if I did? Well, if you did, you would get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble if I took the money. You're gonna get in a lot of trouble if you took the money. Are they gonna give me a spanking? You're, you're gonna get a big spanking if you took that money. Oh, well, I ain't taking no money, folk. He took the money. He's in a green challenger. All right, well, I'm calling the police. Yeah, yeah, you should. All right, Officer Cuddlesworth, we're looking for a green sports car. Yeah, you're right, Officer Cuddlesworth, that is a green sports car. Wait, you're colorblind, how would you know? Let's go. Ooh, I got me some KFC chickens. It's so good. What the? The popo, why are they pulling me over? I ain't do nothing. Well, I'll offer this chicken. All right, Officer Cuddlesworth, we got him pulled over. Now, this guy's wanted for stealing over $100,000. So if he tries anything, you bite his hand off. <laughs> I hope that means you understand. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, sir, roll your window down. I got me some chicken. Yeah, okay, just roll your window down. All the way down. This is all I legally behave to. Would you please just roll your window down? 
Man, I can't believe you be doing this to me. I know my rights. Why you got to be all that? Pull me over. Uh, okay, look. Y your car matches the description of someone whose car who stole over $100,000 and a money-counting robot. I ain't got $100,000 in a robot. Well, that's interesting, because I can see both of those things from here. Oh, okay. So it's illegal for me to have some money in a robot. Well, it's definitely suspicious when there's somebody who's wanted that matches that description. You want some chicken? No, you're not going to bribe me with chicken. It's Colonel Sanders. That's... 11 herbs and spices. Yeah, that's very tempting, but I'm more of a Popeye's man. Okay, well, we can go to Boo Boo. Get in the car. Let's go. No, no. Look, I'm going to have to search your car. Why you got to search my car? I ain't do nothing wrong. Well, I have probable cause because I'm seeing some pretty suspicious stuff right here. All right, well, how about you turn around and close your eyes and give me 30 seconds to hide it all? Well, we're not playing hide and seek with the evidence. Well, you got some dog. That's cheating. That's two against one. <sighs> yeah, you're right. That's not fair. Okay, but you only have 30 seconds. All right. What? What's... Uh, uh, okay, okay. He's hid. What? Uh, oh, okay, well, okay, I can obviously see what you did. You didn't have to throw away the chicken. That part wasn't a crime. I wouldn't give it back. Well, I mean, if you really want it, it was on the ground, but I mean, you can have the... Oh, thank you. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to arrest you because I can see what you did. Why? It's not in my car, so it's not mine. I ain't do it. But it was in your car, and now it's on the ground. I saw it. How you know it wasn't there before? Okay, that's it. You're under arrest. Oh. All right, make your one phone call. Do you know the number to Popeyes? I would suggest you not call Popeyes. Why? You don't think they deliver? No, I, I would suggest you call someone who can pay your bail. Okay. Hello. Marvin, it's your boy Dougie. Hey, Dougie. And I was in trouble. What'd you do? This mean, bad police officer man arrested me for no reason. Uh, he stole a bunch of money in a robot, and then he used the money to buy a car. I ain't do that, Marvin, I promise. Well, I, I, I think you did do that, Dougie. Well, he doesn't have no proofs. All the evidence was all on the ground outside the car. Yeah, he threw the evidence on the ground because I let him hide it. So I, I probably shouldn't have done that. But he still don't have no proof that it was even in my cars for the first place. Well, listen, Dougie. When you do bad things, you go to jail. But see, Marvin, I ain't do nothing. Can you please come bail me out? I'm scared. How much is your bail? How much is the bail? It's about $100,000. Oh, it's not that much. It's only $100,000. $100,000? I don't have that, Dougie. Oh, Dad, can you at least bring me some chicken? I'm so hungry. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I love you. <sighs> Say it back. I love you. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. He says he's gonna bring me some chicken. Yep, okay, back in your cell. All right, he's in here. Marvin, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dougie. Oh, Marvin, I can hardly recognize you. I've been in here for so long. The walls are closing in and I'm going crazy. He's been in there for barely a minute. Well, I brought you your KFC. <gasps> oh, you brought me the KFC? Try pushing it through the bars. Uh, okay. I, I probably shouldn't. I, I really could search that. Okay. Oh, thanks for the chicken, Marvin. Well, how long is he going to be in there, officer? Well, I hate to say it, but... Probably until the next Dougie video. Well, you hear that, Dougie? You're going to be in there for a long time. Oh. Uh, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I did, Marvin. Next time I won't buy such a noticeable car, and I won't keep all the avenues. That's That's all I learned. <sighs> Look at the Kiki. Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Cody. Well, who's that? Oh, it's my cat. Well, what's his name? Oh, it's Blue Eyes White Kiki. You know, like Blue Eyes White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh? But this one's a Kiki. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, look at my coin collection. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, check this out. I got all these pennies. Oh, but this one's my favorite one. See, that's a 1943 steel penny. Now I know what you're thinking. Cody, aren't pennies made of copper? Well, Junior, normally you'd be right. But you see, in 1943, that's when World War II was happening, and they needed the copper for war materials. So they stopped producing copper pennies and made them out of steel instead. So if you get a copper penny from 1943, it's really valuable, because that means it was minted by mistake. But this one, this one's made of steel, so it's not that valuable, but it's a piece of history, so to me it's priceless. Oh, that's really cool, Cody. Hold on, I'll show you another one. Oh, there's a lot of fur on my couch. Let me get my lint roller. Let me see. Let me find a good one. Oh, yeah, this one's really cool. Oh, you're gonna love this. Okay, check this one out, Junior. It's from 1919. Wait, Junior, 
What happened to my penny? I don't know. It's right here. I, I don't know what happened to it. Well, it's gone now. When did you take it? I did not take it, Cody. You were I was lint rolling the couch and you were looking at your pennies. I didn't take it. Well, I didn't just get up and walk away. Junior pennies don't have legs. I don't know what happened to it, Cody. I didn't touch it. Well, you just made it disappear like you're David Copperfield. Or more like David Pennyfield or, or David David Steelfield, because because it's made of steel and not copper, like like pennies normally are, and you made it disappear, and David Copperfield makes things disappear because he's a he's a magician. I didn't touch your stupid penny, Cody. I don't care about your dumb pennies or your penny collection. No, Junior, I'm so mad, but I gotta go say something real quick. The internet browser you're using sucks. Wanna know why? Because it doesn't have custom SML mods. It's time to fix that with Opera GX. Once you download Opera GX, it's super easy to jump into the GX store and find the SML mod. Just click install and let us take over your browser's wallpaper, sound effects, and more. So, guys! It even lets you play Jeffy's cat piano when you type. They also added our theme song as background music. You can even customize our theme just the way you like it by turning parts of the mod on and off directly from the menu. If you ever want to try out more of the Opera GX mods, there are tons to choose from in the GX store, and switching between them is super easy. Opera GX has other awesome features too, like making your work with AI as easy as possible by building it right into the sidebar with Aria, ChatGPT, and ChatSonic. You can use these to help with your homework, write essays, or even generate images. Moving over to Opera GX is simple with their quick import tool that lets you bring all your bookmarks and settings from your old browser with just a few clicks. Show your love for our channel by using the link in the description to download Opera GX today. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Ugh, oh, Junior, ugh, oh, that ad read temporarily distracted me, but now that I'm back and I'm seeing you, I am so mad, I can't believe you would steal my steel penny like that. I did not steal your steel penny, Cody. Oh yeah, well then who did? It's just me and you here, Junior, I don't see anybody else, unless it was your stupid cat. Actually, I shouldn't call him stupid. He seemed very nice and he was very fluffy, so I shouldn't say that. But I bet he didn't take my penny, because he's a cat. He doesn't know about money. He doesn't care. He doesn't know the difference between steel and copper. He doesn't know about World War II. He doesn't know history, Junior. He doesn't care. He's a cat. He did not steal your penny, Cody. No one stole it. It's just lost. Oh, yeah? Well, it was a steel penny, so that's why I think you wanted to steal my steel penny. I did not want to steal your steel penny, Cody. No one cares about your stupid penny. Only you care about pennies. Oh, Junior, this really salts my apples. Oh, boy. Oh, you are a, you are a big jerk. Just a big jerk face. You don't mean that. I do. I mean every word of it, Junior. You're the biggest jerk face I've ever seen. Take it back. Nope. You are a bad guy. You are not a good person. Oh, uh, you are You are rooting for a bootin'. You are clamoring for a hammer, hammering, mister. You are yearning for a burning. Oh, you make me so mad. If I was at a grocery store, I would I would kick a shopping cart. I would. I would kick a shopping cart. But not, not somebody else's shopping cart. I wouldn't want to damage anybody else's produce. No, it would be my shopping cart and probably not in the parking lot because I, I wouldn't want it to roll away and hit somebody's car and cause property damage. I would... That'd be bad. I, I don't want that. But but no, I, I would kick it just so it made the sound, you know? But but not too hard, though, because I, I don't want to damage the shopping cart because then the store would hold me responsible, and I don't want to have to pay for that. I, I'd just kick it right into the shopping cart return, but but probably probably I wouldn't do that either because then it might roll away, and then the shopping cart boy would have to chase after it, and he doesn't get paid enough for that kind of an inconvenience. So I, I wouldn't kick a shopping cart at all, but I am so mad, Junior. You are munching for a punching. Hey, Junior, are you ready to go to the movies? Oh, wow. Oh, so you're gonna spend my stolen penny on a movie ticket? Cody, a movie ticket costs more than a penny. Junior, I'll have you know that steel penny was worth 13 to 30 cents depending on the condition, and it wasn't in very good condition, so it's probably more like 13 cents. And why is there another cat in here, Junior? Are you spending my penny on cats? You need more cats? Wait, Cody, you had a steel penny? I had a steel penny until somebody decided to get sticky fingers. Junior, you stole Cody's steel penny? I did not steal his stupid penny. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, he stole it, Penelope because it was right there. I'm talking right there. I mean, literally right there. And I looked down for one second, and then I looked back up and poof, it's gone. Just like poof. I did not take his stupid penny, Penelope. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He just lost his own penny, and he wants to blame someone for it. Junior, it's not funny. Give it back to him. I did not take his stupid penny. Let's just go to the dumb movies. What movie are you guys in? Kung Fu Panda 4. Oh, wow. Okay, Kung Fu Panda. That sounds really fun. Well, why don't you just come with us? No, no, I don't have enough money because I'm 13 to 30 cents short because somebody stuck my penny. Cody, I'll get your ticket. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Penelope C. Jr. That's what a real friend looks like. I would not steal your stupid penny because I don't care about your dumb penny. How about you guys just go to the movies because I haven't even seen the first three Kung Fu Pandas. Oh, wow. Okay, now you know he's a thief. He hasn't even seen the first three. Well, I don't like karate movies. Well, it's not karate, Junior. It's Kung Fu. It's a completely different martial art. And everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. Okay, well, listen. I'll, look, I'll just go see the fourth one. I don't have to see the first three. You can't start with the fourth one. You gotta see the first three. 
The Star Wars movies are out of order. True. You, you start with the fourth one with the Star Wars. But it did sound like that was Kung Fu Panda. Listen, it doesn't matter. Let's go see the stupid dumb movie. Well, I'm coming too. You're, you're not getting out of this that easy. Sorry, excuse me, sorry, sorry. Hey, Junior, I can't help but notice you bought the large popcorn. That'll run you about $12.50. That's a lot of money to spend on popcorn. It's almost like you came into a lot of money lately. Cody, you said your stupid penny was worth 30 cents. This popcorn was $12.50. How would I buy popcorn with your penny? I don't know, Junior. I don't know how many steel pennies you've been stealing from around town since you're so good at making them disappear. Shh! The movie's starting! Hiya! Hiya! Skadoosh! I'm Jack Black as a panda! Hiya! So his dad's a bird? Shh. Oh, I really would love to see all this kung fu happening on the screen, but I just can't take my eyes off of Junior because I can't trust him for a second. Kung fu? How about panda fu? Hey, Junior, I got some gummy bears. Try not to take any. Oh, but you won't want them because they're not made of steel. Because if they made them out of steel, that would be a choking hazard and they might get sued, so they probably wouldn't do that. Shh, guys, I'm trying to watch the movie. Sorry. You better not take any of those. I don't want any of them. Well, actually, I don't even know if I want them, because they might taste like whoever sat here's butt. Actually, you know what? Get this one out of the way. Oh, I dropped one on the ground, Cody. Oh, you're, you're so embarrassing! I can't believe you stole my gummy bear, too, Junior! I didn't steal your stupid gummy bear! It fell on the floor! And I can't believe you guys got us kicked out of the movie theater! That was so embarrassing! Well, this could all be resolved if Junior would just put his hand in his pocket and pull out my steel penny. I don't have anything in my pocket, because I don't have pockets! Okay, well, your shoe, then! I don't have your penny in my shoe. I didn't steal your stupid penny, Cody! Yeah, well, I already called the police. But you called the police? Yep, that's how serious this is. They're on their way over here right now. Aw, please tell me it's not my dad. Hey there, somebody called the cops? Yeah, I did. Oh, hey, Penelope. Hi, Dad. Did you do your homework? Yes, Dad. Are you sure? Dad! You know, Penelope, whenever I ask the guys in death row if they did their homework when they were a kid, they say, yeah, I killed them and I kill them again, too. I don't really like to talk to them. Wow, Dad, that's a great story. Thanks. Well, I would like to report a robbery. Oh, a robbery, huh? Did he have a gun? I don't know. I never thought he would steal from me, so who knows what else he's capable of. Okay, well, what did he steal? My 1943 steel penny. You see, during World War II, they didn't make pennies with copper. And yeah, no, I, I know the story about the pennies. So was it a copper penny or a steel penny? Because if it was a copper penny, that would be worth over a million dollars, and that would be a very serious crime. No, it was a steel penny. Oh, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, they're only worth a few cents. I mean, anything under $500 would just be considered petty theft. Oh, it was petty, all right. Well, he stole it, and I want him in handcuffs. Okay, well, let me conduct my police interrogation. Hey, you steal his penny? No. Oh, okay. Well, is there anybody else who could have seen this happen? Well, his cat? Well, I guess we could ask the cat. Okay, I'll go ask him. Hey, cat, you steal my penny? Huh? What? Don't run away from me. Hey! <sighs> Did you talk to the cat? Yeah, but he ran away from me. But that's okay, he seemed pretty innocent to me. And besides, I think I already know who the thief is. I think he's in this room. I just wish he would own up to it. I didn't steal your penny, Cody. Oh, really, Junior? That's very interesting you're the first one to respond, because I wasn't talking to you. I was just talking to the thief, so it's really interesting you're the first one to answer. Well, I thought you were talking to me because you've been accusing me all day of stealing it. Or maybe you just felt guilty for stealing my penny. I don't feel guilty. Oh, okay. See, he feels no remorse, so he's also a narcissist as well as a thief. Cody, are you sure it didn't fall on, like, the couch cushions or something? No, it didn't. Junior stole it. Well, did you check the couch cushions? No, and I will not do that. Okay. Okay, well, what if you accidentally put it back in the coin bin without realizing it? I would have remembered doing that. Cody, come on, check your coins. Maybe it somehow got back in there and we just didn't notice. Or maybe you put it in the coin bin. I, I don't, well, maybe even if I did, you should check it. Okay, I guess it can hurt to check. Nope, not that one. Or that one. Nope, not that one. That one's 1997. No, 1985. 2004. Nope. Nope, not that one. Or that one. Wait, hold on. No, 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 not that one. Nope. Not that one either. Nope. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Still not seeing it. Nope. Well, that one's a quarter. Can I go now? No, because I want to press charges. You really want this to go to court? Yes, I want a judge to decide. Okay, come on then. Ugh. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober, and today we will be hearing the case of Cody, who says that his friend Junior... He is not my friend! Hmm, yes, thank you for clarifying. Let the record show that Junior is not Cody's friend. Okay, Cody claims that his not friend, Junior, stole his 1943 steel penny. Cody, tell us what happened. 
Well, Your Honor, I was showing my coin collection to someone I THOUGHT was my friend. But it turns out he was just a coin thief pretending to be my friend. I showed him one of my many steel pennies and placed it right there on the couch. I'm talking right beside me. Like, literally right, right freaking there. And then I looked down for one second and the steel penny was gone. Junior took it because he knew it was valuable and priceless to me. Hmm, I see. This is a very serious accusation. Junior, did you really steal his penny? No, I wouldn't steal his dumb, stupid steel penny. I did not care about it. He was showing me his dumb coin collection, and I really did not care at all. And then he put it on the couch, and I don't know what happened to it. It just went missing, and he wants to blame me for it. I know you took my goddamn penny, you big jerk! You, you big old jerk-faced, biggest jerk-face I've ever seen! Oh, no, 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 no. I will not have any name-calling or foul language in my courtroom. Cody, you have not shown me any evidence that would prove Junior guilty, so I have no choice but to find Junior not guilty. Yes! What? Are you kidding me? Justice has not been served today, Your Honor. You just let a thief loose back into the public. If your steel penny gets stolen, don't come crying to me, but I know who did it. See, Cody, I told you I wasn't guilty. Yeah, well, the judge wasn't there, and I don't even think he was a real judge, so I want to see his credentials. You guys, this whole thing is just so stupid. Can we let it go? No, Penelope, it was a steel penny. They don't make them like that anymore. Guys, what is this? That's a lint roller, idiot. Look what's on the lint roller, idiot. Probably lint. Get your good glasses on, Cody. Look. Let me see that. What? My penny. <laughs> oh, when I was rolling up the fur, I must have accidentally rolled up your penny. Wow, I guess I can take these mad eyes off. I don't need these anymore. <laughs> well, don't I just feel silly? <laughs> yeah, it was just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, aren't I just the silliest goose? It was just a big old accident. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, Junior. That happens to everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, things happen, you know? <laughs> well, that's just so silly. But you know what isn't silly? Opera GX. <laughs> I could use some nummy in my tummy. Well, Chef PB should be done cooking dinner soon. All right, guys, dinner's ready. Ugh, oh, smells like shit. Hey, Cody, watch your mouth. That's chicken jambalaya. I don't see any chicken. Oh, that's what the nutter butters are for. You substituted nutter butters for chicken? Oh, shut up, just eat. God, stop being choicy. Why is there a can lid in there? Yeah, we're not eating this. I'll eat it for five bucks. Jo Joseph, I'm not going to pay you to get food poisoning. How about, guys, how about we just drive to McDonald's? But we're not old enough to drive. Yeah, we don't have a license, dude. Do we know anyone with a license? Well, Ken has a driver's license. Well, he doesn't have a driver's license. He's a dog, dude. He's not a dog, Joseph. Of course he has a driver's license. How else could he be a race car driver? Well, then show us the driver's license. Yeah. Okay, let me get it out of his wallet. Boom. Read it and weep, chumps. Oh, yeah, dude. That's definitely fake. Yeah, it looks fake, Cody. It's not fake. It's very real. Why is Ken so orange? Oh, he had a sunburn that day. Yeah, I told him not to get his driver's license photo done when he had a sunburn, but he didn't listen. He just had to drive. His last name is Carson? Yep, and one day I'm going to be Cody Carson. And look, he's even an organ donor. He can't be an organ donor. He's plastic, dude. What if G.I. Joe needs a kidney, Joseph? A plastic kidney, Cody? But shut up, Joseph. Wait, wait, wait. It says right here, Ken was born in 1961? That means Ken is over 60 years old. Yeah, but age is but a number. But you're under 18, so that's wrong. No, no, it's not wrong, because he's a... He's a doll? No, no, he's not a doll, Joseph. Well, if he was a doll, Cody, it wouldn't be weird. If he was made in 1961, that's fine. But if he was born in 1961, then, then he's a predator. No, he's not a predator. He, he has Benjamin Button disease, so he, he's basically 17. Dude, if he wasn't plastic, I'd be calling the cops right now. Well, look, guys, he has a driver's license, okay? Can he drive? <laughs> Can he drive? Did Chick Thunder Hicks sign with Dynaco? Yes, he did. And Lightning McQueen signed with Rusty's. I watched Cars last night. Just a little bit of Pixar trivia for you. Can Ken drive us to McDonald's? No. What's the point of that, dude? Well, why can't he drive us? Well, because he can't drive at night because he has astigmatism. What? what? What do you mean? His eyes are bad? Yeah, he has bad eyes, okay? Look, when God gives you washboard abs and a perfect ass and a giant wang, he has to take away something. So Ken can't drive to McDonald's. What, what if we duct tape him to the steering wheel, and then you drive the car, and it looks like Ken's driving it, and we have someone with a license, at least in the car? I don't know. Look, look, look Ken. Look, 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 just you and Ken. Follow me. Look. Uh, okay, Cody, I duct taped Ken to the steering wheel. So if we get pulled over, just say Ken was driving. But I don't want Ken to get in trouble. Well, then don't get pulled over. But I don't even really know how to drive. I can't even see over the steering wheel. All you do is press the gas pedal and then move the steering wheel back and forth. This seems like a bad idea. I want to go to McDonald's! Okay, put it in drive, I guess. Okay. 
Oh man, Simmons, I hate the night shift. I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Just wake me up if any crimes happen. All right, mate. I'm gonna test out the equipment, make sure it's working properly. I'm gonna start with the lights. <laughs> Simmons, you turn the siren on! Yeah, I'm just testing out the lights to see if they work. What, Simmons, stop staring at the lights. It's bad for your eyes. You know what else is bad for your eyes? A pencil. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that would be bad for your eyes. Any sharp object is bad for your eyes. And bricks are bad for your teeth. Well, yeah, you, you shouldn't chew on bricks. What? Oh, Simmons, did you see that car? He was flying. He wasn't flying, he was driving. Well, no, I meant he was going fast. Come on, we're going to get him. behind us. Oh, shit. Pull over. Oh, shit. All right, they pulled over. Look, I'm really tired. I'm just going to give them a warning and let them go so I can go back to my nap. Wait, mate, before you go, aren't carrots good for your eyes? I mean, that's what I've heard, yeah. So I can poke myself in the eye with a carrot and be all right? No, no, they're not for poking yourself in the eye, Simmons. They're for eating. Well, then if I eat them, then it means they're good for my mouth. Well, I'll let you figure that out while I'm gone. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? I'm having a panic attack. I don't want to go to jail. What if they make me be the top? That's too much pressure. I can't last that long. Cody, let me get in the driver's seat and I'll do all the talking. You're going to screw this up. No, Cody, trust me. I know how to talk to cops. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I see your driver's license? Here you go, officer. Thank you. That's not you. This is the guy on the steering wheel. Oh, what? He appears to be duct taped to the steering wheel. What? What? Oh. Well, I'm not going after him. I am too tired for this. Whoa! Junior, what the hell are you doing? I'm not going to jail, that's what I'm doing. I gave him a fake ID. That wasn't a fake ID, that was Ken's ID. He's a dog, dude. He's not a dog, Sam. McDonald's, here we come. No, no McDonald's. Take us home. Woo! We got our McDonald's. You know I love my nuggies, dude. Guys, we just ran from the cops. And we got away. This is not my first time running from them. And we're never going to get caught. Yes, we will, because they have Ken's driver's license. It's fake anyway, dude. Yeah, it's not even real. It is real, and now they're going to come looking for him. Cody, just shut up and eat your Elemental Happy Meal. I've never even seen Elemental. You guys want to go watch it? Well, if we're going to go watch it, we have to go watch it now, because it's only in theaters. What are you talking about? It means you can only watch it in theaters, and when it leaves theaters, they're going to delete the file. From history, dude. They're never going to release it on DVD and they're never going to put it on a streaming service. That would be ridiculous. Well, no, it's, it's Pixar's plan. See, they want people to run to the theaters and watch it now, and then they're going to delete the file. But no, 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 I think what they mean is it's only in theaters for now. Well, then why doesn't it say only in theaters for now? Why doesn't it say only in theaters for now, DVD later, streaming later? Uh, they can't fit all that on the box. There's plenty of space on that box, dude. Yeah, they could have fit it right here. Well, look, do you guys want to go see it or not? Yeah, let's go see it. Yeah, let's go, dude. Well, guess what? We can't because we spent all of our money on McDonald's. Well, wait a minute. Wait, we have Ken's real name now, so we can apply for a credit card in Ken's name. Oh, dude, he's perfect for this. Let's do it. No, 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 no. We don't want to ruin Ken's credit. He has a perfect credit score. Well, that means we can get a higher credit limit. And also, we can apply for loans in Ooh, Ken's name. More money, dude. Yeah, so let's go apply for loans in Ken's name. No, no, no. All right, Cody, we got a credit card in Ken's name. And a $20,000 personal loan with an 8.6% interest rate. And it's a balloon loan, so the interest rate rises every year. And they give us free balloons. But that's financially irresponsible, and you're not going to get any balloons. Well, look, Cody, we have a credit card and $20,000, all thanks to Ken's information. But, 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 guys, this is a crime because Ken, Ken can't, he, he can't, he's... He, what, he's a doll? No, no, he's, he's human. It's just, this is identity theft because, because you can't take out a loan in Ken's name. Well, he told us we could do it. Yeah, he's cool with it. No, 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 he didn't. He was me the whole time, and he didn't say that. Well, look, Cody, with this $20,000, we can go see Elemental. We could buy Elemental, dude. Yeah, we could, the whole theater. Guys, you're going to have to pay that money back eventually. Ken has to pay that money back. Well, but we should still return the money. Look, Cody, no one's going to stop us. The police might. Th that, who says that's the police? That might just be Pixar asking us to go see Elemental. Pixar's not going to go door to door asking you to see their movie. Oh, yes, they are, Cody. Pixar, have you seen their last few movies? They're in their flop era. Hello? Hey there, uh, I'm looking for a Ken Carson. I tried to pull him over earlier and he sped off. I've never seen that guy before. Wait, weren't you in the car with him when he sped off? Oh yeah, that guy! He kidnapped me and my friends and then he dropped us off at McDonald's and then went to Mexico. What? Okay, well would you be willing to testify to that in court? I don't know, maybe. Okay, so you don't know where he would be? Maybe Mexico, but he's definitely not on my couch upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go check your couch. Well, you don't have a warrant, so you can't come in. Um, uh, uh, this house smells like weed, so I'm gonna have to come in, because I have probable cause. It doesn't smell like weed. Uh, and also, his, his address is right here on the driver's license, and that's your house, so I'm coming in. What, Cody? Cody, you put my address as Ken's address on his driver's license? Oh, no, I didn't do that. The DMV did that. Uh, excuse me, anybody seen a Ken Carson? No? Oh, you lying bastard. He's right there. Okay, Mr. Carson, put your hands up. Thank you. Now you're under arrest for fleeing the police. Wait, where did you kids get all that money? Uh, lemonade stand.
What, what are you putting in the lemonade that you're getting that kind of money? Uh, crack. Mm -hmm. You're putting crack in your lemonade? Well, no, but people say it's so good it might as well be crack. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there crack in the lemonade or not? No. Okay, then where did you get the money? Okay, so look, we found out that Ken has a driver's license even though he's a doll. So we applied for a bunch of loans and credit cards in his name because we wanted money. Wait, wait, you applied for loans and credit cards in his name? That's fraud. Well, no, he told us to do it and he has no plans on paying it back. So we're going to keep the money and, and he needs to get in trouble. Yeah. Yep, yep, you're absolutely right. That is his fault. Okay, Mr. Carson, you're under arrest. Come on. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of Kenneth Carson. Kenneth, you have been on quite a crime spree lately. Speeding, evading the police, resisting arrest, bank fraud, etc., etc. Kenneth, how do you explain yourself? You wipe that smug smile off your face, mister. You are showing no remorse for your actions. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. He actually just got Botox in his face. That's why he can't stop smiling. But trust me, he is very remorseful for the actions he didn't do. Oh, my name's Kenneth. I'm so remorseful for breaking the law. Do I look remorseful? No. How do you plead, Kenneth? Ken, say something. Well, are you going to say something? You have to plead guilty, not guilty, my bad, the fifth, something. Not guilty. He said not guilty, Your Honor. Hmm, interesting. Well, let me tell you why you're wrong and why you are guilty. Because you handed your driver's license to the police just before you sped away in your car like Fred Flintstone kicking his little feet. Unless, of course, you're saying that wasn't you driving the car. Oh, please say that. I would love for you to say that. Because then I could fuck you every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So please, I dare you to say that. Uh, it wasn't me driving the car. Oh, I am so glad you said that. Because I have one more piece of evidence. Officer Guy, show him the body cam footage of you pulling him over. Go ahead, show him. If everyone would look at the screen, please, you can clearly see Kenneth is driving the car. He's even duct taped to the steering wheel. And there are kids in the car, so he's also endangering children, so you can probably add some charges for that. Oh, so close, but so fucking guilty. Guilty, 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 liar, liar, pants on fire. You see, you can't fake body cam footage, and that's clearly you driving the car. Oh, now, I don't even have to ask you about the bank fraud, because if you would lie about the car, you'd obviously lie about the bank fraud, so once a liar, always a liar. Get there! Mm. Now, usually I would give you four years in prison, but because you lied to my face, I am giving you 34 years in prison. That's right, an extra 30 years for lying. I don't like liars. Take him away, bailiff! Don't like it. 34 years? Sorry, kid, he's coming with me. Yeah! Yeah! What's wrong, Cody? Did you get your wiener stuck in your zipper again? Uh-huh. It also can get 34 years in prison, and it's all because of you guys. Hold on, hold on. Is it really because of us, dude? Yeah, at some point, Ken has to take responsibility for his own actions. Well, this was all your idea. No, Ken was the one who got duct taped to the steering wheel and sped off, and he was also the one that get these loans out in his name. Well, you guys did all that. Yeah, and Ken could have stopped us. Yep, he has a voice, unless he's a doll, dude. No, he's not a doll. He's just shy. See, so Ken could have spoke up, and he chose not to. God damn it, Ken needs to learn to stick up for himself. Yeah, so me and Joseph decided to split the 20 grand, 10,000 each, and we're gonna give you the credit card. I should get all of it because this is all your fault, and also I need the money to pay for Ken's commissary. He's gonna need to buy a lot of Preparation H for the ass pound he's gonna take, and Swiss rolls. Ken loves his Swiss rolls. So how about you go visit Ken in prison and find out if he even needs the money? Okay, I'll go see if he's a top or a bottom. Alright, let's take the 20 grand and hide it. Hell yeah. Hey Ken, how's prison? Your cellmate's not going too rough on you, is he? Hey Ken! Me and you, round three tonight. Uh, 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 uh. Your face on the ground! Mm, mm, mm. Oh, he's making you be the bottom? Oh, lucky. Oh, Ken, I just wish I could reach through these bars and grab you. It's not fair! It's just not fair! What? K Ken! You escaped! Come on, quick! Hey, you owe me round three! Guys, I just broke Ken out of jail! Why would you do that, Cody? Now you're gonna get in trouble! Well, he just kinda fell through the bars and I just grabbed him. Look, hopefully nobody will even notice he's missing. Okay, inmates, lights out. No more weenies and butts. At least not with the lights on. But, officer! No butts. Or weenies in those butts. I can't even put my weenie in the butt because my butt gone! What, what happened to your butt? I ain't here! Wait, you're telling me your cellmate escaped? Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. Well, 
gotta find him! So guys, what happened to that $20,000? Cause we should probably give it back to the bank. Ooh. Uh, uh, what happened? Well you see, we gave that $20,000 away. What, to who? Well there was these two blind kids going door to door trying to raise money for new eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it was $10,000 per eye. Yeah. So we only had $20,000 so that means only one kid got new eyes. So we made them play rock, paper, scissors to see who got new eyes. How did they know who won? Well we told them and it was a draw three times in a row. Mm -hmm, three times. So, yeah, so they decided to get one eye each. You know, an eye for an eye. That's not really relevant here, but okay. Yeah, so we gave the $20,000 so they both could get one eye. Don't you think that's worth it? Well, as long as it went to a good cause. Freeze! You're under arrest for helping a fugitive. And you're under arrest for being a fugitive. What's going on, officer? Well, Mr. Cody here helped Mr. Carson escape from jail. So now they're both going to the slammer. Do I at least get Ken's cellmate? No, you're going to an all-women's prison. Junior, help me! Is there anything we can do, officer? I don't know. I'm just so pissed off because my wife racked up $20,000 of credit card debt. So I really need $20,000. I would do just about anything for $20,000. I'd probably let these two go for $20,000. Dude! Do we give him the money? No! We might have $20,000. But wait, but what about the blind kids? We made it up. What, you made that up? Yeah, because me and Joseph wanted to buy a soft serve ice cream machine. Bro, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Cosmopolitan, Cody, come to Cosmopolitan. Guys, help me! Give him the money, Joseph. And here, have the money. Wow, that's really nice of you guys. So I guess, because you did that, I can let these two go. Well, I have a question for you. So is this weird? So Ken was born in 1961, and he's dating a minor. Uh, okay, well, I can't just let that slide. Ken, run! <laughs> Catch him if you can. Jeffy, you're gonna be late for school. Baby, have you seen my car keys? No, Marvin. Looking for these, Daddy? Jeffy, give me my car keys. Ha ha, you're sure. Give them to me, Jeffy. Oh, what, well, Jeffy, spit them out. Spit them out right now. Mm -hmm. uh... well, Jeffy, you swallowed my car keys. Well, now I don't have to go to school. Oh, you're going to school, Jeffy. Marvin, why doesn't he just take the bus? It's already late. He already missed the bus. Well, it looks like I need to stay home from school. No, Jeffy, because you have a car, so we're gonna drive you in your car. Not if I can swallow the keys first. Oh, no, Jeffy! Wait, Jeffy, you are going to school. Come on, right now. Oh, man. <sighs> Jeffy, get in the car. Don't have to. You just have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you don't get in the car, you're grounded. Aww. All right, Jeffy, put your seatbelt on. Can we bum some tunes so the hoes know I'm coming? Seatbelt now. Jesus. All right, Jeffy, let me know when it's safe to go. I don't want to get in a car accident. Oh, you're good for days. I'm in so much pain, Jeffy. I think my arm's broken. Oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you two? I trusted Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, you totally had it. You were just too slow. Okay, you two. You're lucky to be alive. And you, you should have your driver's license revoked. Who pulls out in front of cars like that? My son told me there were no cars coming. And you believed him? What, you couldn't take the two seconds to just look? You know, you had mirrors for a reason. You know, if you had blind spot cameras like my Hyundai Sonata, this never would have happened. Listen, I don't want to get yelled at. I'm in a lot of pain. Danny, you look like you hate towers. How long is the recovery process, doctor? Uh, him, I think he'll probably be fine. Just got a broken arm and then a bruised face, but him, oh no, no, this is his life now. I mean, his jaw is broken, his ribs are destroyed. I mean, you could poke him with a pillow and kill him. His eyes kind of hanging out, and his arm has melted to his head from the engine fire. Yeah, he's going to be like this forever. What, so he has to live his whole life looking like that? Oh, yeah, unless you hire me as a plastic surgeon. Well, how much would that cost? Uh, about 50 Gs. What, $50,000? We don't have that kind of money. Can, can you do it like a favor? No, 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 no. There's no pro bono surgeries here. Except for the girl who came in for a free boob job. That was pro boner. So you're gonna pay me or what? We don't have that kind of money. Then get out of my hospital. <sighs> Come on, Jeffy. Ow. Go. Ow. Shoot. Ow. Why are you guys staring at me? Well, Jeffy, we're just concerned because why do you look like that? Because I got in your car accident. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeffy. Do you want some of my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week? No, I don't think I can eat because my esophagus is closed up. All right, before we start class today, I wanted to remind everyone that tomorrow is picture day. So make sure you rook your best. These pictures are gonna be in the yearbook for years and years, and you don't want people to look back and be like, damn, he ugly. So, any questions?
Yes, Jeffy? What's your question? I don't have a question. Well, then don't put your hand up if you don't have a question. Put your arm down. My arm is stuck to my face because I got into a car accident. Oh, you are ugly as shit. Go to the principal's office right now. You are way too ugly for me to look at. <laughs> yeah, bye, freak. Hey, my arm may be stuck to my face, but I can still whoop your ass. So shut it. Cross, if you look right now, you better do something to fix yourself by tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm in so much pain. Well, you need to drive more careful next time, Marvin. I was driving careful. Jeffy said there were no cars coming. Hey, dang. What, Jeffy? What are you doing home so early? You're supposed to be at school. The teacher said I was too ugly to look at. That's horrible, Jeffy. You're still our handsome little boy. I am? Yes, Jeffy. Well, picture day's tomorrow. Oh, dear God, no. But Jeffy, you can't go to picture day looking like that. You guys just said I was your handsome boy. Well, Mommy, lie. Your face looks really bad. You look like something out of a scary movie. We need to get your face fixed or something. But Marvin, it costs $50,000. We can't afford that. Well, maybe the doctor will put us on a payment plan. Let me just call the doctor and see what we can do. Hey there, you call a doctor? Oh, hey, it's you guys. You guys finally decided to pay me for plastic surgery? Well, yeah, kind of, because tomorrow's picture day at school. Oh, yeah, I do a lot of business around this time. People want me to fix the ugly. They call me Dr. Ugly Fixer. Because I fix ugly, as previously implied. Then why haven't you fixed the bald spot on your head? <laughs> I want to fix it, but I can't afford to pay myself. Damn it, if I would just lower my prices. Well, see, that's why we called you, because we can't afford you either. Like, your prices are just too high, and we were wondering if maybe you could put us on a payment plan? But are you, are you asking if there's another way you can pay me? Well, is there? I mean, listen. No. What? I want cash, okay? I don't care what your wife will do to me. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter, because cash doesn't whine and then want to be cuddled afterward. Well, no, 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 listen, we just can't afford that price. Like, maybe we can pay you later, right? Like, like, you could do the surgery now, and then we pay you all that money later? Okay, but if I do the surgery, what if you move away to, like, Antarctica or something, and I never see you again? Then I'm out $50,000. Ooh, I got an idea. What if you put a tracker in Jeffy's face? Like, when you cut it open to fix it, you put a tracker in there, so if we don't pay, you can track us down. Huh. Okay, yeah, I like that. I'll do the surgery now, and if you don't pay me later, I'll come back with a baseball bat and rough you up a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. All right, that sounds good. Uh, hey, you want me to uh, give your wife some bigger cans while we're at it? Uh -huh. Marvin, no! Okay, okay, fine. I'll just do Jeffy. Come on. Okay, I'm done with the surgery. Is Jeffy okay? Oh, yeah, he's never looked better. Are we going to recognize him? Oh, yeah, he's going to be the son you've always wanted. Okay, everybody, say hello to Jeffy. Uh, don't get it. Give me some cheese cake! Shrek, get out of here. Go, you little rascal. Uh, don't get it. Damn ogres. Jeffy, can you just get in here? Hey, no! Jeffy? Yep, that's him. But what did you do to him? Oh, well, I uh, fixed his teeth. I made his eyes not crooked. I fixed that stupid unibrow. I slicked his hair back, and I gave him some nice clothes. He also added a few extra inches down there, so now I'm rocking a full four inches. Yeah, I did what I could. Oh, yeah, and I also found this in his lower intestine. Those are my car keys. Well, there they are. Well, Jeffy, you do look really good. Yep, that's what I do. And I also put the tracker in his nose, so if you don't pay me, I'm gonna get you. All right, champ, you have fun at picture day. Save some poo-poo for the rest of us. So, Jeffy, how do you feel? I feel constipated, Daddy. Real constipated. The poop troops are stuck in the poop loop. Well, I think you look handsome, Jeffy. Yeah, you need to get some sleep, because you have a big day tomorrow with picture day. Can I sleep in this? Yeah, Jeffy, don't take that off. You look really good. I want you to look like that in the picture, so go to bed. Right. He looks really good. Whoa, Jeffy, looking fine, like a Sharpie. Thanks, Cody. But Jeffy, how do you look so good? Yesterday you were so ugly, and now you look so good. I got plastic surgery, Junior. Well, I thought that was just to give girls bigger boobies. No, they do everything, even butt. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so hot. Thanks. No, like, you look really hot. All right, calm down. You need to get spayed. You're in heat. All right, class. I hope everyone is ready for picture day. You wouldn't want to take an embarrassing photo. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so handsome. Thanks, Teach. Oh my god, PJ, you're so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're guapo. I don't know what that means, but I agree. <gasps> Maria, look at that boy over there. Oh, Dios mio, muy caliente, si puppy. Let's go over there and talk to him. Wait, wait ladies, where are you going? The bowl of coleslaw is right here. L ladies, what the? That man's jacking my steez. Hey. You're so hot. 
Sexy, sexy, so sexy. Jeffy, give me your number. Ladies, ladies, please. I'm constipated. I'm trying to poop here. Give me some space. Bro, you stole my chicks. That's not very bro-like of you. I never stole these girls. They were never yours in the first place. It was just your turn. Oh, that's it, bro. I'm gonna get revenge. And when PJ gets revenge, things get ugly. Let's kiss him. <laughs> ladies, the diarrhea is flowing. Hey, Nani. Hey, Jeffy, how was picture day? I don't know, you tell me. Check it out. I'm one handsome son of a gun. Aw, look at my handsome baby boy. Be careful with that paper, Mommy, it's wet. Girls have been sitting on it all day, so it's saturated in fish stick juice. Well, you look really good, Jeffy. Thanks, Daddy. Ah! Well, it's time to hit the hay, so you pooch smoochers behave. <sighs> it's time for me to get some shut eye. I'm tired of girls kissing on me all day. Jeffy. This'll teach you for stealing my girls. Hey, Jeffy! We know! Danny, Danny, Danny! He's hideous! What happened to your face, Jeffy? Somebody broke inside the house and hit me in your face with your mouth until I was ugly again. But what happened, Jeffy? I literally just said it. But then how did someone beat you in the face till your unibrow grew back? I don't know, but they did it! Alright, I'm here for my money. What, what, why do you have a bat? In case you don't pay up. Uh, uh pay, pay, pay up for what? For the surgery that I did, remember, to make Jeffy- Wait, what, why is Jeffy ugly? <laughs> what, he, what do you mean? He's always been ugly. No, 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 I, I gave him plastic surgery to make him handsome. What? No, you didn't. What, y yeah, I did. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and I made him handsome. What? The baby? Do you, do you remember? Do you remember this this doctor doing surgery? Um, no. Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no. Okay, so if you weren't in a car accident, what happened to you? Uh, I I fell down the stairs, and and, and she dropped a toaster on my head. Yeah, I did that. R really? So so there was no. Wait, there, wait, there, wait. There, there were no surgery. Jeffy, close your mouth. See, see, look, 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 he's always looked like that, and today was picture day, so, yeah, no, you must have, must have no, had no, a bad, no, no. you must have had a bad dream. No, 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 it's like this can't have been a dream, I remember it, you guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and then Shrek was there. Yeah, this must have been a dream, there's no way Shrek would have been here, that doesn't make any sense. Man, really, this was a dream? Yeah, it must have been a dream, you must be getting old. Oh, man, I'm really sorry for coming in here and threatening you with my stolen Sammy Sosa bat. What? Like, no, this is really stolen, stolen from Sammy Sosa, stolen right from his locker, see his name's on it. It's nuts. Anyway, sorry. Oh, that was a close one. Now we don't have to pay him money. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, did you learn your lesson for today? Look both ways. Look both ways. Before, before crossing, crossing the street. The street. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. All right, Danny, just as soon as I get done eating my breakfast. Jeff, you're not gonna eat blue rock candy for breakfast. Well, I'm 18, so I'm gonna do it anyway. What, Jeff, you're 18 in the third grade? <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. <laughs> it's not my fault my hopes are up and my syndrome is down. Marvin, look, the news! Stop it, that's my thing. Marvin, look, the news! Breaking news, okay? Blue rock candy is now illegal. Scientists have found that it causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer. Blue rock candy is illegal? <laughs> Jeffy, don't eat that. It's super illegal and it's dangerous. But no one knows that I have it. I'll just be taking this. What? The cops? Yeah, we're going around confiscating everybody's blue rock candy because this is super illegal now. And also, the street value of this is insane. You can get thousands of dollars just for this. Huh, you guys should have sold it before I got here. Well, what am I going to eat for breakfast now? <sighs> Jeffy, just eat your cat food. Marvin, don't give Jeffy cat food again. It's okay, Mommy. I like shrimp and biscuits. See, baby, he likes it. Yeah, eat it up, Jeffy. <sighs> Who's that? 
Hello? Good morning, Marvin. Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Uh, I don't have my house payment this month. Oh, I know, but it's not my problem anymore because I sold your mortgage to the Mexican cartel. ASA. Wait, you sold my mortgage? I sure did. And the bad news is, is sometimes I would let you miss house payments without any consequences. But they love consequences. Do you want to know how I lost my eye and my hand? I missed my house payments, so I cut them off myself to teach myself a lesson. Wow. I'm going to let you guys talk. So where's my money, Bato? Uh, listen, I don't have the money this month. Listen, you better have my $10,000 by tomorrow morning, or else I'm going to take your ball sack, cut it off, and turn it into a balloon to give to my daughter on her quinceañera. My house payment's not $10,000. It is now, Bato, so you better get it, or else I'm going to mucho gracias your ball sack. It's a really nice house. Do you have a good day? <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god! What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman sold my mortgage to the Mexican cartel and they said if I don't give them $10,000 by tomorrow, they're gonna mucho gracias my ball sack. What does that even mean? A lot thank you, his ball sack. Exactly. Marvin, where are we gonna get that kind of money? I mean, I could sell my car. Yeah, that could work. Hey Marvin, I got some bad news for you. Sorry, it looks like you're already having a bad day, but I'm gonna make it worse. Your lung x-rays came back and you see that black spot? That's lung cancer. <laughs> You have lung cancer. Is it bad? Oh, no, it's actually the good kind of lung cancer. It is? No, no, there's no such thing. It's all lung cancer and it's all bad. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, we could treat it by tomorrow and you'd probably survive it, but the treatments are hundreds of thousands of dollars and I know you can't afford that. Well, what can you do for me? Well, I can give you this box of tissues so you can cry me a river, and I can give you this hammer so you can build a bridge and get over it. Marvin, what are we gonna do? Well, I'm the one with the cancer and the payments, so I feel like I should be crying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Honestly, Daddy, what I would do is, since they can't legally deny you medical care, is that your medical bills go to collections and then you focus on making your mortgage payment. That's really smart, Jeffy. So, yeah, let, let's focus on making $10,000 by tomorrow. Anyone have any ideas to make money? Well, the police officer man said that the Blue Rock candy's worth thousands of dollars. But, Jeffy, that's illegal. Yeah, Jeffy, that's illegal, and you wouldn't happen to have any more of that candy sitting around, would you? No, that was my last little bit. Damn it. Marvin, you weren't thinking about selling that, were you? I mean, it's worth thousands of dollars. Yeah. Yeah, Mommy, we gotta move away. Well, good thing Jeffy doesn't have any more. I mean, we could make some. Yeah, Daddy, let's cook. No, no cooking illegal rock candy under this roof. But it's thousands of dollars. No buts, Marvin. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, let's go downstairs and cook breakfast. All right, Daddy. Okay, Jeffy, pour a little bit of the serum on the pan. All right, Daddy. Yeah, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. Hey, Daddy, why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm allergic to latex. Oh, ha, <laughs> Why'd you do that? It's allergic reaction, Jeffy. Look, let's check on the first batch. All right. Oh, that's looking good. Can we MF and cook or what? Yeah, Jeffy, it is looking really good. Oh my god, we're amazing at this. What the hell are y'all doing in my kitchen? Whipping up dope up like a pot of spaghetti. <gasps> y'all making blue rock candy? That's just illegal. Oh, we really need the money. Oh, I'm about to call the police on y'all. Oh, we have a snitch, Jeffy. Let's go get him. <laughs> Not the one. This candy dealer's in my kitchen. The captain. <laughs> 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 All right, Daddy, he's knocked out and tied up. What do you want me to do with him? What we usually do to snitches. I got you, Daddy. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to start putting the Blue Rock candy in the Ziploc bag. Marvin! Oh, oh no, Rose is coming. i got to hide this. Marvin, what are you cooking for breakfast? <gasps> Marvin, why are you dressed like that? Uh, me and Jeffy are making blue waffles. We Googled a picture of it to get the recipe. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Hey, Daddy, I got the fucker's head. <laughs> Oh, great, Jeffy. Now we have to go catch her. I'll get the knife. Hello, 911. There's people in my house cooking blue rock candy. Hang up the phone, bitch. <laughs> you shut up in there. All right, Jeffy. Let's get back to cooking. Okay, Jeffy. I already put blue rock candy in this bag. So I want you to take it to school and sell it and try to get as much money as you can. I'm on it, Danny. I'm going to go get dressed for school. I'm going to keep staying here and cooking. All right, Kraus, today we're going to be going over the side effects and the negatives of Blue Rock Candy. So to help me do that, I have a police officer here. Hey, kids. Now, I know, I know, I'm a big, scary police officer, but I brought my good friend Sebastian the No-Candy-Eating Lion here to make you guys feel better. Sebastian, get your ass in here. <laughs> hey, kids, it's me, Sebastian the No-Candy Lion. <laughs> Just say no to candy. Damn it, Sebastian, did you take a bump to the car? Just a little bump. Just a little. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, sorry, kids. Sebastian has to go back to the zoo. What? No! I don't want to go back there! Come on, we're going back. Oh, guys, I can't believe blue rock candy's illegal. I know, dude. I loved it. I would literally pay any amount of money just for one piece of it. I've literally never seen anybody eat blue rock candy. I don't see what the big deal is. You guys want to buy some blue rock candy? Oh, hell yeah. Here's $100. Here's $20. Oh, what can I get for a dollar, dude? I want some. 
Well, since you guys are my boys, I'll give you guys half the bag for all your money put together. Here you go, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, bet. Oh my God, this blue rock candy is amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so delicious. Meh, it's okay. Hola, amigos. You want to buy some blue rock candy? Sorry, Felipe, we already bought some. Where did you get that from? Jeffy's selling it. Oh, let me try this shit. Woo! Shit's good. A little too good. My father needs to hear about this. Papi! All right, kids, Sebastian's in the car now. But as we were going to say, blue rock candy is illegal now because all that sugar causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer, which is cancer of the teeth. Hey, you, what the hell is that? <laughs> kids, what, Penelope? Hi, Dad. Where did you get this blue rock candy from? Uh, it's Cody's, he bought most of it. Yeah, it's all Cody's. Where did you get it from? I ain't snitching, I'll die for my homies. Not talking, huh? Well, I guess you're coming with me down to the station. Fuck you, pigs, I'll use my one phone call to call your Mom! Another batch done. All right, Danny, I sold half the bag at school and made 124 bucks. Jeffy, you goober! Half that bag alone is worth two grand. But they were my boys, so I had to hook them up. You don't have any boys in this industry, Jeffy. The only boys you got are dead presidents. Oh, like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, those are your boys. All right, well, I promise I'll do better. But what happened was I had to get them hooked. And once you get them hooked, then they come back and spend even more money. But Jeffy, I need 10 grand by tomorrow. So get your ass back out on that street and go door to door and sell more of this blue candy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wasting my time cooking. Who's that? Hello? Hey, Essie. Oh, hey, amigo. I will have you your money by tomorrow. I sure will. Word on the street is that you've been cooking blue rock candy. Blue rock candy? I don't know how to make that stuff. Then why are you dressed like that, huh? I'm deep cleaning my kitchen. Don't lie to me, Holmes. I know that you've been cooking it. Listen, I'm just trying to pay your money by tomorrow. You're stealing my operation and my customers. Well, I'm not trying to. But my son did bring me some of your stuff, and it was good. It was good? Yeah, so go in there and show me how you make it. Well, I'd rather keep it a secret. I you. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, look, this is how I make it. I put the sugar in the dye, then I put it on the pan, and I put it in the oven. I'll be taking this. Consider it a prepayment. Well, okay, look, I'm just trying to get you your $10,000 so I can be done. Forget about the $10,000. You work for me now. Work for you? For how long? Forever. Until the day you die. Well, what if I refuse? Then I'll just cut your eye out and cut your arm off. Well, are you at least going to pay me? Your payment is that you'll get to live. Listen, you just keep making this blue rock candy, and I'll be back later for more money. Oh my god, what I get myself into? <laughs> Who's that? Hello? What? The cops! Hey there, Marvin. You deep cleaning? Uh, yeah, deep cleaning. What do you fine officers want? Fine? You hear that, Simmons? He called us fine. Why are your eyes red? Oh, I got Windex in my eyes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, listen, Marvin, the reason I'm here is that I think I lost my favorite pen around your couch when I was telling you you had cancer. And you do still have cancer. You should probably get that taken care of. Oh, well, I just cleaned around my couch. I didn't see a pen. Oh, can I come in and look? Because it might be, like, under your couch. Well, I lifted up the couch. It's not under it. Oh, well, can I use your bathroom? Because I really got a tinkle. Well, I just cleaned the toilet that I don't want you peeing all over the toilet seat. Oh, that's fair, because I do like to piss all over the seat. Hmm. Well, can I come in and have a drink? Because I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, I just poured out all the drinks in the refrigerator because they were expired. Wow. Well, can I at least have some tap water? I had my water turned off because I'm dying of cancer. I don't need water anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, can I come in and look at your furniture? Because I'm furniture shopping and I want to show Simmons your couches. Okay, make it quick. Okay. See, Simmons, look at this couch. It's really nice. And I think it's a pullout, too. I never pull out of your mother. Ew, Simmons, ew! <laughs> Is that a woman screaming? No, no, no. I think that's just the TV. Something's wrong. Simmons, come on. No, 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 no. All right, Simmons, where did that woman scream come from? In here, in here. I think it came from in here. Hmm, let's see. Oh, my God. Well, that's not what it looks like. Look, I don't know what kind of weird kinky shit you guys are into, but I don't want to see it. No, he tied me up and banged me in the head. I, I, I don't need to know where he banged you, okay? I'm just going to close the door. No, 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 Look, I'm really sorry for interrupting. I'll get out of your hair. <laughs> Wait, Simmons, you smell that? Yeah, blue ass. I left a little rosebud in my kangaroo pouch. No, not that, Simmons. I smell blue rock candy. To the kitchen! What no! Oh my god, Simmons, we just walked in on a giant candy lab. Willy Wonka would be proud. You're going to jail for a million billion years. That's how illegal this is. No, I'm sorry. I just needed the money. Put your hands behind your back. Wait, wait is that a human head? That's murder. That's at least another hundred years. Yeah, put... What? Amigo, you saved me! Damn right I did not. Where's my money? Uh, money. Uh, well, I didn't sell anymore since you left. Oh, well, that's not very mucho gracias, Bato. Now cut up these bodies and put them in acid. And you better have my money by the time I get back, or else. 
Oh man, what am I gonna do? He, he, is he gone? I think so. Oh god, that really hurt. I just didn't want him to kill us, so I used Ninja Focus to slow down my breathing and heart rate. Well, well you know I didn't do anything wrong. Like, he, he's making me do all this. Yeah, we heard the whole thing. I mean, it's not like you're doing this on your own. Uh, no, I, never. Right, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got a plan to kill that guy because nobody hits me with a bottle. Come on. Okay, so Simmons is standing guard outside that door in case the cartel guy comes back. When I get my tuna fish! We'll get it in a minute, hold on. Okay, so here's the plan. Whenever the cartel guy comes back to get his money, you're gonna tell him Tuna Fish Terry has his money, so he comes to see Tuna Fish Terry. Now, I hooked up a bunch of explosives inside that wheelchair, and they're connected to that bell. So whenever Tuna Fish Terry rings the bell, it'll blow up the wheelchair, killing both Tuna Fish Terry and the cartel guy. But when I get my tuna fish! You'll get it when the cartel guy is dead! Jesus! He doesn't know he's gonna die. Why don't you just arrest the cartel member? Because that's lame. This is way cooler. I saw it in a TV show and I want to try it. He's coming! Oh, he's coming. I'll hide behind the couch. Uh. Hey, SA, check out this book I got my kids. El Gato and Sombrerato. It's by this Dr. Sussman. He's crazy with the pictures. Check this shit out, man. This gato is crazy. He puts a cake on his head. My kids are going to love this shit, man. Oh, wow. But you have kids? Oh, see. Si. Yeah, my kids would die without me. They love me so much. Especially since I'm the only thing they got because their mother died. Their mother died? Oh, yeah. I had to cut her head off because she didn't pay me my money. Speaking of, where's my money? Huh? Uh, huh? Uh, he has it. Okay. Where's my money? Uh, oh, oh, I think I just heard the oven go off. I, I have to get the candy out of the oven. Okay. Listen, I don't want to kill an old man, okay? What are you doing? Oh, I see. I see. Is a servant going to come and bring me my money? Oh, that was so cool. He was like, Pow! and then he was like, Ugh, I'm dead. Oh, that was way cooler than arresting people. But he had kids. Yeah, so what? You have kids. He was going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and throw away all that blue rock candy. Just don't let me catch you with it ever again. You got it? Okay. Okay, so there's another thing. Uh, I've been looking at your lung x-ray, and you do not have lung cancer. That little black speck right there is actually a Skittle. If you look closely, you can actually see the S. See, I was eating Skittles when I took the x-ray, and I guess I just dropped one in there. So, yay, no cancer. Hey, Nani! I sold Wicked Glass what? until I got your $10,000 so now you can pay the mortgage. Jeffy, you made $10,000 selling rock candy? Absolutely, Daddy. I move weight. These are my streets. Well, we don't even really need the $10,000 anymore because the mortgage guy's dead. Oh, shibby. Yeah, so I guess we don't have any problems. Hey, Daddy, how about we take these 10 Gs and go blow it at the arcade? Okay, Jeffy, let's go. Woo! Um, Marvin? Jeffy? Someone? Please get me out of here! I get the last Oreo! No, I get the last Oreo! No, I get it, because my house! Guys, I don't guys, like... guys, my parents might be getting divorced, and I've already heard enough yelling today. I That's don't not care! Important. I want the I Oreo! I want the Oreo. Oreo! Give it's it to me, Oreo dude! What's going on here? Well, Jeffy, there's only one Oreo left, and I believe it belongs to me, because it's my house, and they're my Oreos. No, it doesn't, dude! I'm the guest! I should get the last Oreo! Well, in my opinion, why don't you guys cut it in half, and then you each get a piece? <gasps> Wait, that would be fair. We would both get half the Oreo. Dude, how did you come up with that? Whoa, Jeffy, you're a genius. You should be a lawyer. Really? Yeah, you should take the bar exam and become a lawyer. What's the bar exam? It's a test that you take to become a lawyer, as previously implied. Okay, I think I'll do that. Yeah, Jeffy, you'll be a really good lawyer. All right, Joseph, let's split this Oreo. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Hey, don't, don't, don't. Sorry, you don't get any. You, 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 you can't cut it into three. You can't cut it in threes. All right, welcome to the Florida State Bar Exam. In order to be a lawyer, you have to pass the bar exam. So I have a bunch of candy bars laid out here in front of you, and you have to smell each one and then correctly identify it, because a lawyer needs to have a good sense of smell. Like, you have to be able to smell if somebody's guilty or not, like you smell out a rat, okay? So let's start with an easy one. Smell that. Hershey's. Well, oh, very good, of course. How about this? Snickers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sounds like a slur, but let's try this one. Twitch. Okay, okay, that's good. What about this? Finger on my butt. Oh no, Butterfinger. Oh, almost, almost got you there. Okay, let's try this one. Kit Kat. Okay, that's good. Now this one. This one's a hard one. Um, what you call it? Well, okay, that's it. You passed the bar exam. Congratulations, you are now a lawyer. Yay! Hey, Daddy, I'm a lawyer now. I passed the bar 
Slam Jam. But Jeffy, you're too young to drink. What? No, Jeffy, you can't be a lawyer. There's no way you passed the bar exam. Well, I did. I smelled all the candy bars and guessed them correctly. Yeah, your son's a lawyer now. But Jeffy's not smart enough to be a lawyer. Well, he's the first person I've ever met to actually pass the bar exam without even studying. It took me three times. It was that damn whatchamacallit. It just smells like chocolate. Jeffy, why would you want to become a lawyer? Because I want to help people and make a lot of money. Yeah, lawyers get paid, bro. No one's going to hire you to be a lawyer, Jeffy. No one's going to trust you. Well, people have actually been blowing up his phone all day. They saw that commercial he made. What, a commercial? Yeah, look. Hey there! Been in a car accident? Someone shooing you? Got a boo-boo? Well, call Babu Bop Bop and Babu. I don't get paid unless you do. So call us right now. Babu Bop Bop Babu. This message was approved by Jeffy. Babu Bop Bop Babu. Babu Bop Bop and Babu. Attorneys at law, daddy. That's ridiculous. No one's going to hire you. Well, I actually hired him for my restraining order case later today. A actually, you know what, Jeffy? You have a case coming up. You better get to it. All right. All right, daddy. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm so proud of Jeffy being a big boy lawyer. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jackie Chu, whose Chinese restaurant is in danger of being shut down by the health inspector, who claims that he has been cooking cat and dog and serving it to people as food. Mr. Health Inspector, what have you witnessed in his Chinese restaurant? I witnessed them taking cats and dogs out of cages, cooking them, and then serving them as orange chicken. Good lord. Mr. Chu, these are very serious and gross accusations. What do you have to say about this? I do serve canned dog, but it's delicious. Wow, you just admitted it. Just like that. Okay, well, does your lawyer have anything to say to help you get out of this situation? Yes, Your Honor. My client does serve canned dog, but my question to you... Have you ever tried it? God, no! Cats and dogs are so cute and cuddly, I would never eat them. Never! Your Honor, there's an old saying, don't knock it till you try it. And I believe you should try it before you judge. Hmm, you make a good point. I've never tried it, so I guess I don't actually know what it tastes like. I suppose I can have one piece. Blech. Greatest thing I've ever eaten! Mr. Chu, you are not guilty. This is delicious. I must have more! Mr. Health Inspector, you are fired and no longer allowed to inspect food! <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffy! Thank you so much for saving my family's restaurant! Babu, bap, bap, babu. Danny, check out all this moo moo guap guap. Jeffy, where'd you get all this moo moo guap guap? <laughs> I won my first case today, Day, and he was bing bong as fuck. What, Jeffy, you actually won a case? Marvin, he passed his bar exam. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, sure do, Day. And I got another case to get ready for, so let me go ahead and break you off a piece of this bread right here. Give you a few bread crumbs, cause you know I gotta hook you up cause you my daddy. Alright, from here. That's good. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable George Poobam, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who wants to file a restraining order against his brother Jonathan for trying to hook up with his wife. Brooklyn Guy, tell me what has happened. So, my brother Jonathan is a 30-year-old virgin who still lives with our mom, and he's always hitting on my wife and trying to bang her, so I just want to get a restraining order so he can't come near me or my wife. Very understandable. Jonathan, is any of this true? Well, Brooklyn guy is just jealous because his wife thinks I'm a total hunk. She's always staring at me up and down trying to get a glimpse of my meat whistle. Like, damn lady, I'm a human too. I have feelings. I'm not just a piece of eye candy you get to suck on. See, my client is a victim! It's true! Oh, bullshit, Your Honor. Jonathan's lying. No woman is attracted to him. Order, order, order. Everybody settle down. Karen, do you feel like you're in danger of Jonathan? Like maybe he's stalking you or trying to do things to you? 
Well, he does say a lot of weird things. Yes, Your Honor, she feels afraid. I see. Well, Jonathan, I have no choice but to grant the restraining order, unless your lawyer would like to say anything about this case. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. I got a booger on my nose. It's a deep booger. Come here, booger. Get out of my nose. Oh, no. He said booger three times. Hey, Brooklyn guy! It's me, your imaginary friend, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Go away. I'm in court. Ooh, did you do something bad, huh? huh? Did you get a DUI? No. Did you rob a bank? No. Did you kill someone? I'm gonna kill you if you don't go away. Oh, come on, Brooklyn guy. You don't mean that. Shut the hell up, Booger. Mr. Guy, who are you talking to? No one, Your Honor. Oh, come on, Brooklyn guy. You don't want to tell me about your best pal, Booger? Are you ashamed of me? Yes. Oh, come on. I'm like your hype man. I'm always there saying, you the man, Brooklyn guy. You the freaking man. I know, Booger. And then if anyone ever says you're not the man, I say they're wrong because you the man. Hey, who's this judge guy? But that's the judge. You want me to go mess with him? No, please don't. I'm going to go mess with him. No, Booger, don't. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head talking to you? Your Honor, Brooklyn Guy is clearly insane. He's not mentally stable, and he's making false claims of Jonathan stalking his wife. I am mentally stable. Booger, get away from the judge. Stop trying to give him a wet willy. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head speaking to you? I'm giving him a wet willy, Brooklyn Guy. Yes, Your Honor there is a very annoying ass voice who really needs to shut the hell up. Hey, Brooklyn guy, did you see what I did to that judge? I gave him a wet willy. Yeah, I saw it, booger. Oh, did you like it? Was it funny? Shut the hell up. Oh, that's not very nice, Brooklyn guy. Shut up or I'll kill you. I have heard enough. Mr. Guy, you are clearly mentally unwell, so I will not be granting your restraining order. I will, however, be admitting you to a mental health facility immediately. What? No, a mental health facility? Oh, you think I serve pizza there? My favorite's pepperoni. Shut the fuck up, Booger. Oh, do you like pineapple on pizza? It tastes pretty decent with hands. Yes, justice is served. And now with Brooklyn Guy gone, Karen will be all alone for me to try to bang her. Oh, thank you, Jeffy. You're the best lawyer ever. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Oh, damn, look, I just got back from KFC and look at all this 10 piece chickens I got. Baby, he just won another case. Jeffy, thank you for my new purse. And thanks for my Armani sunglasses. Sure thing, Daddy. Yeah, here go another 10 piece for tomorrow. Yeah. Here you go, Mommy. You can have you a 10 piece too. No sauce on that bit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffy. Keep winning cases. I'm gonna go shopping. Order, 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 order. I'm the Honorable Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of Tyrone and Judith. Judith wants a divorce from Tyrone because he has been cheating on her. Judith, let's hear your side of the story. Well, Your Honor, Tyrone just keeps cheating on me over and over again with so many women. I just want to be done. Hmm. Tyrone, what do you have to say? Now listen, everybody owns more than one pair of shoes. You don't just wear the same pair every day. That's me with pussy. I want the house and everything. No, ho, I pay all the bills. You can have the boy. I don't want the boy. I want the house. Order, order, order. Okay, it sounds like the divorce is settled. It is happening. But now we need to figure out who gets the house and all of the assets. Jeffy, what do you think? I think that you take a chainsaw, you cut the house in half, and everything they own in half, so it's 50-50. Hmm, that's fair. I like it. I grant you both 50-50 of everything. Cut everything in half with a chainsaw. The boy, too. Fucking what? Hell, I'll get the chainsaw. I'll hold him down. What now? Babu, bap, bap, babu. Beep, beep, beep. It's Amazon Prime. I got another package for you. Shine right here, Daddy. Shimmy. Daddy, is that jacket made out of South African leopard ass? What it look like? Beep. Mommy, is that jacket made out of Antarctic polar bear puss? It was shaved. It wasn't tortured. Okay, well, I got another case. Your friend Goodman hit a kid with his Lamborghini, so I gotta go try to save him. The kid? No. Oh, baby, let's put it in the safe. <laughs> order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Mr. Goodman, who is being accused of running over a child in his Lamborghini and driving away. The mother saw the Lamborghini hit him, so, mother, tell us what happened. <laughs> My boy was drawing with his chalk in the road, and this rich guy in the Lamborghini ran him over, and he didn't even try to stop. Mr. 
Mr. Goodman, is this awful accusation true? You didn't even try to stop? Well, Your Honor, I was getting roadhead from this 10 out of 10 baddie. I was in a throat trance, so I wasn't even paying attention while I was driving. Hmm, so you were distracted while driving and killed a little boy. Well, it sounds like you're guilty. Unless your lawyer can get you out of this mess. Well, Your Honor, to be fair, you weren't fucking there. You didn't see what happened, and neither did I. The boy's mom could be lying. She probably wasn't even there. So how can you judge what happened if you weren't there? Hmm, that's true. I wasn't there. Everything could be a lie. Well, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't. Mr. Goodman, you are not guilty of vehicular manslaughter in Hit and Run. What? No! He killed my little boy! This is not justice! <laughs> Thank God! I'm gonna celebrate by getting more road hit! Thank you, Jeffy. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Marvin, your son's a genius. He won my case. I got sucked off on the way here. I'm gonna get sucked off on the way home. Mr. Goodman, do they have any mouthwash? Get back in the car, chinchilla. Okay. And Marvin, I'm taking this 10,000 for your house payment this month. It doesn't matter. Jeffy, print money. He a money print machine. Beep. Well, buddy, I actually don't want to be a lawyer anymore. What, what do you mean, Jeffy? I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? I don't like it. You don't like making cash green guap, cash green guapo? I don't like it. Marvin, if Jeffy doesn't want to be a lawyer, he doesn't have to be a lawyer anymore. Put the cash in the green in the bib! Marvin, we had enough. <sighs> babu, bap, bap, babu. Daddy, I need a favor. What do you need, Jeffy? Can I borrow a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? What do you need a thousand dollars for, Jeffy? Cause I want to go to clown school. See, cook. Clown school? Why do you want to go to clown school? Cause it's always been my passion. I love making people laugh, and I really like Badoon. Jeffy, you don't have to go to clown school. You already are one. Marvin! It's true. We already act stupid and dumb. You don't have to pay someone a thousand dollars to teach you to act like that. You never support my dream. No son of mine's gonna be a clown. I hate you. Yeah, go to your room. Marvin, you should support your son. No, baby, I want him to be something successful like a doctor or a lawyer you honestly think he's gonna be a doctor or a lawyer uh no see well look baby i, I don't want him to be a clown he's gonna get made fun of and that's not a career marvin i'm gonna go talk to him well i'm not paying for this i don't support it <laughs> i hate my daddy <laughs> jeffy are you okay no jeffy it's gonna be all right <laughs> no it won't not unless you write me a check for a thousand dollars right now so i can go to clown school jeffy why don't you just save up your money so you can go next year because i won't want to be a clown next year then why does it matter so much that you go this year because i want to be a clown right now jeffy do you really want to be a clown are camel's nipples purple <sighs> well jeffy if you promise to be the best clown that you can be i will give you the money to go to clown school <sighs> Heck yeah. Mommy, this is so pee pee? Okay, Jeffy, just don't tell your dad. Oh, I won't, Mommy. Daddy, 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 Mommy's giving me a thousand dollars to go to clown school. Jeffy! I'm just kidding, Mommy. <sighs> okay, here's the plan. What was that? Oh, nothing! No, nothing? Je Jeffy, you yelled my name. No, 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 I'm not going to clown school or anything. No, not at all. Oh, that's right, you're not going to clown school ever. Mm hmm. Yeah, so just stay in your room. Yeah, yeah, Jeffy, yeah, here's yeah, the plan. Yeah, yeah, Jeffy, yeah, yeah, Jeffy, yeah, yeah, focus. Yeah. Focus! Okay. You're gonna sneak out the window and go to clown school, okay? All right, Mommy. I'm gonna be the best clown I can be. See you later, Mommy. Hello and welcome to clown school. My name is Screwball, and if you're wondering, yes, I hate my life. Being a clown isn't easy. It's long hours of kids pissing on you, you pissing on yourself, kids trying to punch you in the balls, Fat kids trying to eat your hair because they think it's cotton candy. Waking up in different motel rooms, handcuffed to the headboard. I've seen it all. Like, if you think it, it's probably happened to me. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the room and each one of you going to tell me why you chose this miserable path of life. You first, kid. Um, I want to be a clown because I like making people laugh. Trust me, kid. You're not going to be making anybody laugh. They're gonna be laughing at you, not with you. People only hire clowns nowadays just to beat them up and piss on them. At least that's what happens to me. But anyway, what about you, sir? Why do you want to ruin your life? Looks like you already got the hair color going. Oh, with me? Uh, oh, well, my daughter's birthday party's coming up, and I figured if I was a clown, then maybe her and her friends would think I was cool. You know, like I'd be the cool dad, like, oh, cool, your dad's a clown, but 
After hearing your stories, I'm starting to doubt that. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to be cool unless getting beat up and pissed on is cool. Then you'll be the coolest dad in the world. But anyway, the first lesson of clown school is if you want to be a clown, you got to look like a clown. So there's clown costumes in each one of your desks. So go ahead and put those on. What the hell? Oh, God, it smells like piss. Yes, they all smell like piss. They're all from clowns who died from blunt force trauma to the head from a five-year-old with a boppet. Wow, this clown outfit's so cool. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, God, why is it so itchy? Uh. Yeah, because the clown that wore that outfit before you had scabies. Be honored. All right, the next step to being a clown is picking your clown name. My name's Screwball because when I was younger, I got in a horrible accident and they had to screw both my balls together. So I have one big ball. That's why I'm called Screwball and not Screw Balls. All right, so just yell out whatever clown name you want and I'll tell you if it's taken. Uh, what about, what about Butterball the Clown? Taken. What about Diarrhea Pants the Clown? Taken. That was my father. Uh, what about Noodles the Clown? Taken. Dingleberry the Clown? Taken. Uh, poof Pants the Clown? Taken. Ball Pit Shit the Clown? Believe it or not, Taken. What, really? Uh, okay, what about, what about Fart Sucker the Clown? Taken. He was a good clown. What, oh, okay, then what isn't Taken? Uh, Tugball's not Taken. Yeah, that fits you. You're now Tugball the Clown. What, I am not going by Tugball the Clown. Oh, yes you are. Once you're assigned a name, you can't change it. I did not pay a thousand dollars to be called Tugball the Clown. No refunds. Alright, kid, what do you want your clown name to be? What you about Blue Balls the Clown? Mm, actually, that one's available. Congratulations, kid. Your Blue Balls the Clown. Yay! I got my clown name! I'm Blue Balls! What? He got Blue Balls? Why am I Tugball? Alright, now that you you got your clown names, I'm going to teach you how to do the first trick you're going to need to know for a kid's birthday party, and that's balloon animals. They're going to want you to make dogs and giraffes and elephants. Mm -mm, it's too hard. What you're going to do is you're going to blow up the balloon and then you're done. It's a snake balloon. See? Tss, snake. And if they say, oh, I don't want a snake balloon, then you hit them with this. Worm. See, so the only two animals that you need to know how to make are a snake and a worm. Any questions? Okay, but like, what if they want a dog? You say, snake or a worm. I'm paying you a thousand dollars. You can teach me how to make something other than a snake or a worm. Snake or worm. Okay. All right, so the next trick you're going to need to know for a kid's birthday party is how to juggle. So you're going to take three balls like this and start juggling. Watch me. Oh, 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 oh. See, I can't juggle. Well, that's all right. You don't need to know how to juggle. You don't get paid enough for that. They're just going to piss on you anyway. What, so you can't juggle? Are you going to teach us anything? Snake or worm. What? I, I gave you a thousand dollars. The next thing you're going to need to know for a birthday party is you got to get horny. You got to have your little clown horn walk around and do it in people's ears and give them tinnitus. Okay, what is this? Are we seriously not going to learn anything? I spent it what, what, what are you doing? Get, 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 get this out of my face. What? Uh... Okay, that is it. Okay, that's it. I don't want to be a clown anymore. Give me my money back. Don't be a party pooper. I can't give you a refund. I already spent the money. But come up here. I'll show you something cool. Okay, are you actually going to teach me something? Sure. All right, so the next thing you're going to need to know for a kid's birthday party is getting pied in the face. What? Oh, oh God, why does the pie taste like piss? Because I pissed in it. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. I don't want to be a clown anymore. I'm reporting you to the Bandit Business Bureau. Um, am I officially a clown yet? Before you become a certified clown, you have to pass the clown test. It's only one question. And the question is, what two animals can you make out of balloons? Uh, snake or worm? Congratulations, Blue Balls. You're now a certified clown. Go out there and get pissed on as much as you can. Thanks for the thousand bucks. Yay, I became a clown. This is the greatest day ever. My dream finally came true. Hmm, I haven't seen Jeffy all day. Oh, um, well, he's probably just in his room, but you don't need to check on him, though, because he might be in there doing teenage boy things. Hey, Daddy! <laughs> Guess where I've been? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Where'd you get $1,000 to go to cloud school, Jeffy? Mommy? Jeffy! You weren't supposed to tell him. Well, I didn't want to get yelled at. You gave Jeffy $1,000 to go to cloud school? I'm sorry, Marvin, but it's his passion. Look at him. Oof. 
Jeffy! I'm Blue Balls the Clown, Daddy! Blue Balls the Clown! Uh huh? Jeffy, you better show me what you learned at clown school for a thousand dollars. Oh, I learned a bunch of things, Daddy. I learned how to make balloon animals. Oh, well, you better show me the best balloon animals in the world. You better make me a huge elephant. Like, I'm talking a life size elephant. Mm mm. Too hard. Too hard? Nothing should be too hard for a thousand dollars! Snake or worm? Uh, snake. Alright. It better be the best snake I've ever seen. What? It's a snake, Daddy. Ooh, that's cool, Jeffy. It's not cool. It's dumb. Get out of here. It's so dumb. It's literally just, you just blew up a balloon. That took no talent. Jeffy, can I have a worm? Coming right up, Mommy. You could just ask me for one. Here's your worm, Mommy. Ooh, it reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. What? Oh, that, get these balloons out of here, Jeffy. None of that took any talent. All you did was blow up the balloon and said it was a snake and a worm. Well, you want to see me juggle? I learned how to juggle. Ooh, that's cool, Marvin. I mean, I guess juggling is kind of cool. Show me you juggling, Jeffy. All right. I mean, at least juggling's a talent. All right, Daddy, watch me juggle. Oh my. Too hard. What, too hard? Why is it too hard? Pee on me. What? Yeah, that's what they taught me in clown school. All right, Jeffy, that's it. You got ripped off for giving him $1,000 to do something that was a scam. But, Daddy, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Want to see it? Yeah, it better be the coolest trick in the world worth $1,000. All right. I can't believe this. All right, Daddy. See this pie? Yeah. Why does it taste like piss? Because I peed in it. All right, Jeffy, that is it. You are grounded. You can't ground me. I got a birthday party to go to. See, Marvin, he already has a job. What, someone hired you for their birthday party? They sure did, Danny. So, I'm going to go do that. I'll see you later. Go PJ, go PJ, go PJ. Go me, that's right. So how you ladies liking the party? This party's so awesome. Yeah, I hope it never ends. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know what they say. There ain't no party like a PJ party because a PJ party don't stop. Woo! So over here, I got some Danimals and some Gogurt. I got some Spider-Man and SpongeBob Gogurt. You know, whatever gets the juices flowing. And over here, I have some powdered donuts. So you can just get into that whenever you're ready. Uh, PJ, can I please have your autograph? Sorry, babe. You're going to have to wait till after the party. Okay. Okay, ladies. On the count of three, I want you to say what would make this party ten times better. And don't say more PJ. Okay. One, two, three. I'm more PJ! A uh, clown. That's right. A clown. I hired a clown. Oh, no, no, you didn't. I sure did. Get in here, Blue Balls. I'm Blue Balls the Clown. <laughs> All right. Make me laugh, funny man. Okay. PJ ain't laughing. That's not funny. Um, well, I can juggle. Okay, all right, yeah, let's see him juggle. That'd be really cool if you could juggle. Yeah. All right. It's too hard. Want to pee on me? What? What? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Uh, this is gross. Uh, this party's lame. Bro, you're ruining my party. You better do a cool trick right now. Oh, uh, well, I can make a, a balloon animals. Uh, okay, balloon animals. I, yeah. I want a balloon animal. I want a pig. I want a balloon. Yeah, yeah I want a balloon animal too. Yeah, I, I, want, I want a bird. Um, snake or worm? What? Snake or worm? Uh, a snake, I guess. That's okay. mine. What? Shit, a snake. This party's so not cool. It's so not cool. What? Bro, bro, nobody has ever said a PJ party wasn't cool. You better do a cool trick right now. Well, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Okay, but it better be the coolest trick you've ever done. Yeah, it better be cool, PJ. I'm leaving. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> No ladies, come back! Uh, bro, you ruined my party! No lady has ever left a PJ party! I'm calling the party police! There, I just got done cleaning up the mess. I wish we made a mess that I had to clean up. Ew! Hey, I got you, kid. Oh, Jeffy, you got arrested? Yeah, I had to trespass him for ruining PJ Crenshaw's party. PJ Crenshaw? Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw! Here Jammy's Crenshaw, that's the one. What'd he do? Well, he did a bunch of lame tricks and it made PJ's girls leave. <gasps> Not his girls leave? Yeah, his girls. Oh. Yeah. Well, so what's gonna happen to Jeffy? Well, I gotta revoke his clown card so he can't be a clown anymore. Wait, I can't be a clown anymore? No, you're permanently banned from being a clown. Wow, all that for nothing. Wait, wait why is your nose red? Oh, because I also went to clown school, but I dropped out because it was just way too much piss for my liking. And I kept the clown nose to remind myself I'm a clown for paying $1,000 for that. Well, she's a clown for paying $1,000 for Jeffy to go to clown school. What a waste of money. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to my other job, leading Santa's sleigh. Oh, like Rudolph. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Joseph, is that your stomach? Oh, yeah, dude, my bad. I haven't eaten in three days. But 
You should like eat something. Yeah. Well, not everybody has money like you, Cody, and I haven't seen any roadkill. Oh, I miss possum. I love possum. Ooh, dead possum's my favorite. Well, how about we go to McDonald's and get Happy Meals? But, Junior, we don't have money for Happy Meals. Well, guess who found somebody's wallet on the side of the road and took money out of it? Boss. Yeah, and I returned the wallet back to the person, so I took the money out because that's my fee for finding it, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have just not returned the wallet. Yeah, you could have returned the 20, too. Well, no, the money is my fee for finding it. But look, let's go get McDonald's! Yeah! Hey, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get you? Uh, can we get three Happy Meals? Yeah, sure, let me just ring that up. What? Oh my god. Oh my god! What, what? You're the one trillionth person to come into a McDonald's ever! Wait, are you serious? Really, dude! Yeah, that means you get a one year supply of McDonald's for free! Well, really? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, okay, can I get four large fries? Can I get a Big Mac? Guys, check out all this McDonald's! Isn't it awesome? Junior, I think it's really cool that you won a year supply of McDonald's, and I understand why you got the 10 piece nuggets to celebrate, but did you really need four large fries, three Happy Meals, two apples? pies and a Big Mac with extra cheese. That was beautiful, Cody. Thank you. But yes, I do need all this food because I want a year supply of McDonald's. I gotta use it. Okay. Can we have our Happy Meals now? Yeah, dude. Wait, no, no, guys. You can't eat those Happy Meals. What, dude? I haven't eaten in three days. Yeah, why can't we eat them? Because, guys, it says in the fine print that I can't share any of the McDonald's that I just won. What, what are you talking about, Junior? There's no fine print. You didn't sign anything. But what if that is a rule? Like, what if they see me sharing my McDonald's and they're like, it's supposed to be for him, not anyone else, and they take it away from me? Junior, I don't think they mind if you share. I don't think they expect you to eat all this by yourself. I just don't want to risk it, guys. I don't want to lose like a year's worth of McDonald's. So look, just go get some more McDonald's by yourselves. What, but we don't have any money. Okay, look, look, take this guy's wallet that I found and, and take some money out of it and go get some food. Wait, you said you returned the wallet. I lied. Okay, fine. We're gonna take this wallet and we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna return the wallet. Okay, fine. Yeah, because all this McDonald's is for me and, and I'm the one who won it, so it's meant for me. Oh man, what do I want first? The Big Mac or the nuggets, the apple pies or the fries or the happy meal? I have all of it. <laughs> Junior, get up, it's time for your first day of school. Junior? Junior, where are you? Ooh, a chicken nugget. Don't touch that chicken nugget. Junior, where are you? Ugh, that's my last chicken nugget, don't touch it. Junior, you're fat, what happened? I want a year supply of McDonald's and I've been eating it every day for a month. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why I haven't seen you downstairs for a month. Uh-huh, so uh, can you please just toss that chicken nugget in my mouth? I'm not tossing that chicken nugget in your mouth. It's time for you to get ready for school. Just please, just toss it right here in my mouth. <sighs> Look, here. Uh, here, fatty. Uh, hey, it didn't go in my mouth. Well, well, come on, it's time for you to get ready for school. Oh, can you at least order me a Happy Meal for school? No, no, I'm not ordering you a Happy Meal, it's come It's free, on. my apple pie, you bitch. Come on, fatty. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Junior, your belly's sticking out like you're Winnie the Pooh. Hey, your mom's Winnie the Pooh. No, Junior, I don't think you're allowed to make fat jokes anymore. Yeah, dude, I can't believe you let yourself go. Hey, hey, let me, let me roll over so I can yell at you. You win a year's worth of McDonald's and say you're not going to eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and maybe a midnight snack. Yeah, I can't lie, I, I would. Yeah. Can someone pass me my Happy Meal? Junior, it's right next to you. Well, like, can someone open it and put it in my mouth? <laughs> I wish we weren't talking about Happy Meal. <laughs> then I'd be down. All right, class. I know you all had a wrong and boring summer and you couldn't wait to get back to school. Yeah, I miss school so much. I love it here. School, school. Who loves school? Cody loves school. Yeah. God, I hate you, Cody. Yeah, Cody, I hate you so much. You're such a nerd. I'm going to flip your desk. Hmm. Do you need some help? No, I got it. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on, I just need a Diet Coke. Hmm. Are you sure? Should you flip the desk yourself? Nerd. Here we go. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. So for the first day of school, we're gonna go around the class and you all are gonna say what you did over the song. But now repeat, you can go first. Ooh, well this summer I went to summer camp and I got first place in the talent show. I made best friend bracelets with all of my BFFs. We went roller skating and water skiing and jump rope. Oh brother, someone take this girl's mouth away. Shut up, Junior. I also woke up this morning with a pimple on my face and I tried putting ointment on it, but it's still there. <laughs> Hey guys, her name should be Pimpelope. <laughs> Look at that big fat pimple on her face. I don't think someone who looks like you should be using the word fat. I, I, I don't think someone as ugly as you should 
should be so ugly, but mom, look, 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 where, look where we're at. You're fat. <laughs> wow, Penelope, it sounds like you had a very eventful summer. Cody, what did you do over the summer? Well, this summer, me and my boyfriend, Ken, with... Junior, are you putting french fries on your hamburger? Are you putting french fries on your hamburger? Yes, Cody, I'm putting french fries on my hamburger because I'm American and I can do that. And for the record, I got my hamburger without cheese, okay? So I'm trying to lose weight. Okay. Well, anyway, like I was saying, me and my All wife... right! Thanks for sharing, Cody! Now, who wants to go next? I, I, I wasn't finished. Hmm, tell me what you did over the summer, Junior! <laughs> oh, uh... I, I, I won a year's supply at McDonald's, so I've been pretty much just eating that. Junior, if you keep eating like this, you're gonna get diabetes. Oh, Junior, you are truly a fat ass! Come up to the bar, let me talk to you about something. Uh, do you mind if you come to me? Because I don't think I can walk up there. Junior, just get up to the front of the class! Okay, it might take me a few minutes. Oh, God. I'm almost there. <sighs> okay, well, what, what do you need to talk to me about? Have you ever considered sumo wrestling? What, what's sumo wrestling? Well, it's when two big fat guys wear diapers and then they fight each other. That sounds gross. It is hilarious, but someone as fat as you would be good at it. Listen, I have an arch nemesis back in China, and he a sumo wrestler. He is fat, and I think that you shall fight him, and if you fight him and win, then you get no homework for the rest of the year. But the school year just started. Exactly. Well, th that's a deal. I want to do it. I don't want I don't want homework for the rest of the year. Okay, then go home and start eating, you little piggy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be home to train you soon. Add some more french fries and a cheeseburger on top. Jesus Christ, Junior. I mean, nice cans, but why aren't you wearing clothes? And also, what is this? Cheeseburger Mountain. Cheeseburger Mountain. Junior, just because you have a year's supply of McDonald's doesn't mean you have to make Cheeseburger Mountain. Look, Cody, I'm the one with the year's supply of food from McDonald's, so if I want to make Cheeseburger Mountain, I can make Cheeseburger Mountain. And the reason why I'm not wearing clothes is I spilled ketchup on my shirt and shorts, and I took them off, and the only thing I had to wear was this loincloth thing. <sighs> okay, fine, Junior, whatever. I just came over because I wanted to know what the teacher wanted earlier. Like, did he want to make a deal with you or something where you'd, like do stuff for him to get an A? Because, I mean, if that's the case, I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. I don't mind. No, he just wanted me to eat more so I could get fatter. He wants me to be a sumo wrestler. A sumo wrestler? Yeah, he wants me to fight, like, one of his enemies as a sumo wrestler or something. What? Uh, oh, no, Junior. I it's not Wohee Big, is it? Who's Wohee Big? Wohee Big is the most dangerous sumo wrestler in the world. He's a ten-ton, ten-time champion. One time, he even killed a man by sitting on his face. What? Really? Yeah, I have the video, and I, I watch it, like, all the time. And I even save the timestamp for when it happens. Oh, well, I don't know who I'm fighting, but I don't think it's Wohee Big. But no, the teacher said if I beat the guy, he won't make me do your homework for the whole school year. Dope. Yeah, that's really cool, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the teacher. Uh, go answer the door and then leave. But, all right. Yeah, well, I, I don't want you to distract me. I gotta eat and I gotta focus, Cody. I gotta focus. Okay. <laughs> all right, Tubby, I got you some lard. Lard? I'm eating McDonald's. Not fat enough. You need to drink this lard if you want to beat Wohee Big. I am fighting Wohee Big? Yeah, I think you got what it takes. You're fat, he's fat. You got to drink this lard if you want to get big. Okay, I'll drink it. When's the fight? Like next week? No, it's right now. So we got to go. You got to hurry up and drink this. Come on, let's go. You got to drink it walk. Drink it walk. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the 11th Annual Living Room Sumo Wrestling Tournament. Over here, we have the ten-ton, ten-time champion, Wohee Big! Oh no, Kotakojira! Oritetakimasa! Whoa, he really is big! And over here, we have the newcomer, Junior! Oh man, I can't drink any more lard! Oh, you have to! You only got a little bit left! Alright, now open wide! Oh... Alright! First wrestler to be knocked out of this circle loses. Go! All right, come on, drink it. You only got a little bit left. Uh, all right, you did it. I don't feel good. All right, now get out there and go. Oh, domo rigato, Mr. Roboto. I don't know what I'm doing. Just push him out of the circle. Push him out of the circle? Oh, well, it's over, folks. How disappointing. But to be fair, who really thought a child could defeat the ten-ton, ten-time champion? Although I guess now he's the ten-ton, eleven-time champion, which 
isn't as much fun to say. You so dumb! You so stupid! How you rules the fight? Now you're gonna get home for the rest of the year! Dumb! Oh my god, what happened? You got knocked out, kid. I don't even know how to sumo wrestle. Clearly. Well, I have other bad news for you. You also have diabetes from all the crap you've been eating. What? Diabetes? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to take away your year's supply of McDonald's. What? You can't take that away! Well, I can if you've been abusing it, which you clearly have been. What? Well, can I at least finish my french fries? No. Hey, nope. Hey, stop it. No, 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 no. My french fries. These are for me. Oh. <laughs> Ugh, Jesus Christ, these are stale. How long have these been here?
La vida es un viaje que siempre nos ve en cada transformación, en cada renovación, cambiando con la vida. Es nuestra canción.